Yes, yes, people. We are back live. We are back live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube for another edition of the Man of United podcast, the podcast dedicated to all things all your comments, all your questions, Manchester United related, please, people. I repeat that again because I had it on playback. I mean, I didn't have it muted. Yes, the show dedicated to all things Manchester United. So please keep all comments, all questions, Manchester United related. As you can see from my absolutely exuberant enthusiasm, I can't wait to talk about all things Manchester United. Varane and Johnny Evans both injured, so more defensive problems for Manchester United because those two are now out. Lindelof is out. Martinez is out. So I think our only two fit centre-backs are the centre-back pairing that played against Liverpool, which is Kambawala and Harry Maguire. We do play Bournemouth on the weekend. I'm literally on the beach with this team. I think we've got two games remaining I care about, which is the semi-final in the FA Cup versus Coventry City and the Arsenal game. That is legit it. That's all I care about. Eddie's also in the building as well. Yes, Eddie, what are you telling me, family? You good? I'm sensational. Sensational. <laughs> Hashtag doing for clock. Hashtag doing for clock, you feel me? We, we out here living the best life. I got my bulls on because it's the last dance. You feel me? It's my last dance. I'm the one with the last dance. You know what? Let's talk yeah, about it. Let's 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 talk, the... talk about it if I'm talking hey, about well, it. You know, being at Atlanta and European competition ain't for everybody. Hey, that is thanks. You know, that is, that is facts, yo. That man got moved to. I know a man who got it done, and he's out of a job. So, yeah, <laughs> cheers, cheers, sensational. You feel me? So, hey, man, we, we cool, man. We cool, dog. We cool. I, I blocked out United, as you can tell. I blocked out United for like the first five to ten minutes just to dunk on Liverpool. Oh, yeah. pray your hands in the chat for Ryan, brother. I'd be trying to save you, but I didn't seen some, some evidence against you, my boy. It's not looking too good, bro. It's not looking too good. But we pray for you. We're going to pray for you. You feel me? The merch is going to hit. I'm going I'm to fight for your 1.6%. Flawless. You'll get my brother is 1.6. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And we moving, baby. We moving. Shout out to uh, Borman. Fucking hell. Threw another 3 nil on the way. But, hey, the wine is still hitting, so we good. Eddie in five form, you know. I don't know where this energy stems from. It's that Liverpool defeat because I've been on cloud 10 since it. You know what I'm saying? I have been on cloud 10. Even though, have you watched the last episode of X-Men, 97? Did you see the last episode? I think he's just cut out. He's in, and he's having a little bit of issues, but we'll be back. Oh, we'll be you back. didn't know? Yeah, you did, you, know? did you watch? The... Yeah, go on. Oh, hey, man. Goddamn. Eddie having his don't worry, people, because he's in the he's in the motherland. But Eddie will be back shortly. Big up to CP TKL as well. And I didn't even do the housekeeping. How 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 lazy of me. Please make sure you hit the like button on the video first and foremost. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you share this across all of the socials as well. And on top of those two things, make sure you subscribe to the channel, Sarcasm City TV. Make sure you hit the notification bell. So again, hit the like button on the video. Please make sure you share across all socials. You see it on the screen at that's me flawless on twitter x and instagram at sarcasm city tv also on twitter x and instagram please retweet and like on the twitter from my that's me flawless and also at sarcasm city tv please share from the instagram as well i believe eddie is back in the building also yes eddie we got you back am i delayed you're good now now you're all right you're better now you're better now okay. you're good you're good you're good Okay. Yeah, no, nah, I saw X Men, dog. That shit almost had me in tears, dog. Grown man, oh, fam. cartoons, dog. It was crazy. Yo, I thought it was just me. I was, yo, I felt away. I was like, damn. I'm like, they gotta bring him back or something. Like, he yeah. Gotta, and he's my favorite. Hey, spoiler alert. You should have seen yeah. him back, people. My favorite X Men. He's my favorite out of the whole lot. Like, I can't wait till they bring him into, you know, like the MCU properly. Like, but in the cartoon, he's always been my favorite. Yeah. Oh, man. Did him day, yeah. man. Yeah. Did him Yeah, day. it was tough. It was a tough watch, but, hey, they, 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 they set the bar high, so I'm excited for the rest of the season. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. First Storm and now him. I'm like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, but they going to they gonna bring it all back. They going to bring it all yeah. back. This just, this just, this like the um the Infinity War moment. You dig? That's yeah, all yeah, 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 yeah. You spot on, you spot on, you spot on. But big up to everyone in the that chat. Like, they, they did that though. But, 
Brett, Brett was the MVP of the episode. They did that though. They did yeah, that. Yeah, though, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gambit was on smoke, but Gambit always on smoke. Like I said, that's why I'm surprised yeah. even, even before like X-Men went has gone over to MCU when they've had X-Men previously. I think it was Sony or whoever had it. They never Gambit was never in any of the films. They never did a solo Gambit film. To my knowledge, he never made any cameos or anything like that. And outside mm -hmm. of Wolverine, he's probably the most he's probably the second most popular character. Like Wolverine was always the most popular, and then it was Gambit to yeah. me. So it's like yeah. surprising they didn't try and tap into that. But yeah, make it happen. AJB, I see you big up every single time. Stratford Gamer. Shout out to Legends in the chat. Shout out to Legends in the chat. People, yeah, I'm, I'm in a, I'm, I'm on, I'm on my, I'm on my African Wi-Fi. So just, you know, work with me. Work with me. I apologize well, for the breaks. But, you know, shout out to the motherland. We made advances. Wi-Fi, you know, ain't really one of them, but we getting there. You dig? So I appreciate y'all for rocking with me on these technical difficulties. There we go. And uh, big up to CPU says, I love this meltdown. Oh, yeah, the Liverpool meltdown's been great. TKL says, uh, 16 out of 10 of United centre backs being out is suspicious. Ineos need to investigate. Nah, injuries just happen because we've seen Varane get injured. We've seen Johnny Evans get injured. Martinez, we also seen get injured. Lindelof, I think he was the only one in training. So out of out, three out of four of them, we've seen them happen in game because Varane got injured against. Was it Brentford? Yeah, against Brentford. And then he played against Chelsea. And then we watched him get injured again. So we seen that. Same with Johnny Evans against Chelsea. Yeah, he yeah. got re-injured. That's the word I was looking for. Martinez, we all watched him get injured as well. So it's only Lindelof, to my knowledge. And that might have even been in game as well. But I can't remember off the top of my head if it was. So it's just my But it's the price to pay. It's the price to pay for the football we play. That's what it is. The price to pay for the football we play, dog. Because we always defended. Yeah, yeah. Look how much. Look how much we ask of our center backs, and look at how much how, how like how how frequently we rotate them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Facts, facts. Oh, yeah, we all we do ask a lot. We do ask a lot. You right. You're not lying, fam. No, oh, Eddie's still having problems. But like I said, you lot get your questions in. There ain't too much to even talk about. I'm not gonna lie. Like, there isn't really, really too much to talk about in regards to this and Manchester United and because it's just, nah. Like, there isn't really a lot to talk about. Like, I'm on the beach, yeah? Uh, T. Dot, Dot says, Flawless, I'll be back soon, so don't worry about it. Dots, man, it'll be good to have you back on the fan calling show. It's definitely good to have you back on the fan calling show because, boy, boy, hey, hey, you lot, you lot, just saying. Just saying, you lot are in trouble. But yeah, in regards to Manchester United's defensive worries, whether Varane and let's say Varane and Martinez were both fit and have, and that's our best. I think general consensus is that that's the best centre back partnership. Does it really change too much? Not really. We we really not it. We just suck regardless. And that's just what it is being a Manchester United fan rooting for other teams. That's where we're at. Like someone, I posted it on my Instagram story and it said Manchester United, uh, being a Manchester United fan, it's just every April turning into a Real Madrid fan. And that's what it's been for the past three years, April. And here I am as a Real Madrid fan, hoping they knock out Manchester City. Uh, what are we talking about? So with these injuries, does this make the chance of Coventry knocking you out greater? Of course, it increases Coventry's chances with injuries, without doubt. But I still expect us to do the business. Because I actually don't think it's that much of a concern. I like Cambawalo. Even before, because like people were shocked by his performance in the Liverpool game, I wasn't. Because every time he's played, whether he's started or he's been off the bench, he's played to a good standard. He's been like that. So I've not been concerned or not worried in regards to him. Maguire's a bigger concern than Kamawala. Like, so that's why. Obviously, Varane's a miss. Martinez is a miss. Johnny Evans is a miss. But centre-back is the one place in the team where I look at it and I go, I don't have any major concerns like that. I don't have any major mm. concerns as for, for our centre-backs. As much as I don't like Lindelof mm. and Maguire, they've actually done okay this season. I can't point to the centre-backs and go, any of them have had a horrible season. Varane's been quality all season long. Martinez, once he came back from injury, was better. Johnny Evans was literally what you expect from him, just a professional. Mr. 6, 7 out of 10 every week. Campbell has done all right. And even Lindelof, to an extent, has done okay. And even Maguire, actually, because we've not seen him week in, week out, has done okay. 
Like, that's mm-hmm. pretty much it. So, yeah, I was just talking about answering AJ's question in regards to commentary. Does it make their chances of knocking us out greater? So, no, I don't believe so. They always have a good chance when you're playing United, bro. Make a wish, FC. Make a wish, FC, dog. We're going to make you look good. Make sure... Make sure your wife there. Make sure the side chick there as well. Both included. They we gonna make you look good in front of the shoulders, dog. Trust, trust. So, and to your point, uh, yeah, the center backs haven't been the. I'm still, you know, again for me. Going I'm still, I'm still gonna wait. I'm still gonna wait and see about Kambuala. Yeah. But for the rest, like Lindelof, we already know what we gonna get at at his best. What, what's good right now? Um, go right over good, the bro. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah. Um, it's all good for nah, him. Sure. We know what his best looks like. Like they've been here for years. So we know what their best looks like. So I mean, mm-hmm. when they put in a performance for me, it's just professional. Like I don't give them too many plaudits because they don't got no credit in the bank with me. You bet. Yeah. Like I didn't see them, I didn't see them make an ass out of themselves. So if they this just like repayment. They was in the red. Now they trying to get out the red back to zero with me. That's how mm-hmm. it goes. So, um, yeah, and Kambawala, you know, I'm always skeptical about the young players. Like they got to do it for uh, for a certain amount of time. What I do enjoy is actually having somebody who's athletic and fits the kind of profile for what you want to see out of your center backs in in the prem, okay. like. He has some ball playing ability, not the greatest, but enough to be to to, to um, suffice. But his thing is his recovery. His mm-hmm. thing is winning the ball back. Mm-hmm. So, and you know, as, I think it's just a it's complete contrast from what we see in Maguire and um, Lindelof. And yeah, Lindelof, and it kind of helps Maguire. Yes, it kind of helps Maguire yes. because. Campbell Wallet does all the running. McGuire does more of the positional play, more of the receiving the ball in the back line, making somewhat of a correct pass. But we know he's always good for a mistake as well. So you kind of fit all those things in. And I think, you know, they they that group, like you said, Falls, has been our most consistent um part of part of our team. Um, and sometimes that's a bad thing because that means you're seeing a lot of them having to defend. So yes. Yeah, with Coventry, it's the same old shit, bro. I, I, I don't trust this team. So, you know, whatever, whatever you know what happens. Crazy is, Eddie? I, I, I think we'll win the game. But like you said, we're going to make them look good. So we'll look horrible. So I think I could see it looking like the, the Newport County game, where we win the game. Yeah, it's 3-1, 4-2. But everyone's talking about how we was on ropes and it was 1-1 at a time or we looked like it was out of the game. But I think the, our overall just better quality than Coventry will show. That's what it is. Big pitch as well. It suits the players we have, as crazy as it is to say. It suits our attacking Yeah, we won't, we, we won't make them look like Atalanta at Anfield. We won't do that, that much. But you know, that, that is true. Close. We will not make them age. Yeah. I'm here all night, Liverpool fans. Here all night. Again, your tears are my electrolytes, people. Your tears are my electrolytes. The salt, the salt keeps me from cramping up while I'm running this game of how poor you were yesterday and how it was marvelous to see. Shout yeah, out to Chris shocking. Breezy, sensational. That's they the word of the day, people. Sensational. They were shocking. They was they was absolutely shocking. Man, cold, cold. Yeah, they were absolutely Shout out abysmal. Abysmal. Like I couldn't believe how bad they were. I couldn't believe it. Like while I was watching, because I watched the majority of the second half. Like I missed the first five minutes and I was on a watch alone. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, they're one nil down. I was like, fuck. And then I'm watching the game, and every time Atalanta went forward, they looked like they was going to score. Like they could have scored more than three. Like they were well worthy winners of the three 0 win. Don't get mistaken. And that's from the second half. I can't comment on the first half, people, because I didn't watch. But I may go back and watch the first half. I'm not gonna lie. I may go back and just see Liverpool struggle and in the mud. It is beautiful settings. I love it. I love it for real. Let's see what else you are saying. What's it? What's up? Hey, Rhino's here. Like I said, people, shout out to Rhino. Make sure you subscribe to his channel as well. Dot says on the next fan call and show, you will get realistic T1, not shameless yeah. T1. Is there certain yeah. agendas that get quiet? And Liverpool fans are starting to realize, are hey, you still winning the league? Dots chat to me, man. You was confident. Obviously, we not smoke in a week. Well, it'll be two weeks by the time we next we, we next talk. Like, what are you telling me, man? What's good? 
chat to me, my guy. For us. Da, da, da. I was talking to Dots, but yeah, right now, thoughts oh. on our, uh, uh, yeah, you're back, thoughts on um, defensive worries at Manchester United. Obviously, Varane and Johnny Evans yeah. both injured. Chat to us, thoughts. Um... No stress. I thought that was me. Eddie's got no worries and that. Big up to Elias as well in the chat also. Like I say, get your so questions. My little ones are just making bad nice. It's, Give it's cool, man. No stress, man. It's all good, man. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. It's all good. Let's see what else you lot are saying. And United are so dry, people. We are really just so dry. Eddie will be back shortly as well. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Warrior J. I appreciate it. This was right at the start of the show. He says, uh, Scott, uh, this is Ten Hag. Scott McTominay, I don't think so. We have uh, we have a training session, so we have a day he will push. He is so keen to be part of it tomorrow, so it's a very questionable. And then Rashford trained yesterday, so how he recovered from it today. Then we have another training today, and then we will make a decision of it. When did Scott McTominay get injured? And when did Rashford get injured? When did those two things happen? Hey, chat, let me know. When did them two get injured? I missed that. You know what I'm saying and that? I, I I missed that. What's going on? Hey, big up Mr. 16 out of 10 in the chat. The guy. The man. The myth. I'm saying the absolute Egypt. What are you telling me, man? Hope you're blessed, Ryan. Hope you're good. Hope you're good. Hey, I'm... stay up, my bro. Stay up, my yeah, bro. Man. Just know your boy's in your corner, dog. My boy's yeah, boy in your corner. Okay? Yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. 16 out of 10. Everything else, I got you. Everything else, you I got, got you. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got, you got this guy. Remember, yeah. story by the way, but can I just are. say the two <laughs> girls below us are looking sixteen out of tens today, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't. Uh, All right, big of the panel. Man, I told. Man. I thought. <laughs> And that being said, the United Liverpool show will be tonight, people. United Liverpool show tonight. Bro, I, I had that. Every time, every time, I was like, let me hide myself. But then my fucking Abby is my face. So ain't I shit. Yeah, man. I ain't smiling shit. that fuck, man. You know, you're smiling there, laughing that man, but you've got him. You know what I'm saying? That's your guy. Yeah. Like I say, man, merch. The I got you, big I got you. The 16 out of 10 merch will be available by the end of the week, people. It will be available for pre-orders. I'm trying to pattern it. I'm about to go like to another to my other guy to try and get it sorted. But the website will be running by the end of the week. By Sunday night, the, the, it will be running. I'm trying to actually get it posted up today for the United Liverpool show. But if I don't, Saturday or Sunday, people pre-orders for those tees. And you know they oh, will be man. at the best price. Yeah, man. Big up, Rhino, man. Do your thing. And you know them yeah. tees. Will be at a great price, people. Sixteen pound ten. Oh, I, I already know what you're so, talking about, and yeah, I can see, I, I can see the the Mister Mister Popular guy telling saying, "Bun Rhino, <laughs> bun you Ryan, back at you, right back at you, Ryan." <laughs> <laughs> I see that clip everywhere, oh man. God. You know what I'm saying? That clip literally has gone viral in this space. I see that clip everywhere, and then to everyone who's playing it, keep playing it. To everyone watching this live or watching this back. Keep watching that clip. Keep sharing that clip. Share that clip to Sharon. everybody. Big to dog, everybody. You're a celebrity. You're a celebrity big Sharon is caring. Facts. You right, know what I'm saying? Basket you are a celebrity. Be a king of that basket shit. It. Be a king of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Your, your dumb face on there with that dumb smile. Oh, it's great. You know what I'm saying? With your dumb compliment. It's fantastic. Word has it. Jan still hasn't moved. But we move. But yes, right. Crazy, United man. defensive yes. issues. <laughs> <laughs> and Liverpool in the mud. Damn. Yeah, um... well, we talk about that. Start there, actually. Right? <laughs> we'll play the United show. Yeah, start there, man. Liverpool nil, Atalanta free. Thoughts on that? We'll, we'll go Listen, there. Listen, man. That Atalanta performance was 16 out of 10, man. It was great, man. It was absolutely great. <laughs> and Joe, so mad. I didn't even watch the game. I didn't even watch the game. I just took bits and pieces from what people were talking about. And I just thought, yeah. Wait, they, they've they've yeah. got a long they've got a steep hill to climb up, you know, for the reverse fixture. Yes, obviously that's a way. When I saw it was at Anfield, I was like, wow. And I'm annoyed because I missed this game, I missed the the PSG game. I mm. I didn't really watch the City game too tough. I was watching bits and pieces of it, and the, and the Arsenal game same as well. I didn't really watch it. And these were good games. I heard I heard Champions League has been doing its thing in the last few. Oh, games. Yeah, Champions so. League was cold. Yeah, yeah, the yeah man. Game. But very entertaining. So, yeah, man, listen, right now, obviously, it's a United show, but all I can say is that, look, if we are the reason for their downfall, you know, knocking them out of the FA Cup, 
you know, oh. dent in their Premier League, you know. Right. You know, maybe we've we've started this chaos and listen, that's the that's gonna be our trophy for the season. I'll celebrate that. You feel me? Being part of Liverpool's downfall, you feel me? Because we're in the mud. There's nothing to celebrate with United, you know. We're crap, we play crap football, you know. We we have to watch City and Arsenal to watch good football. This is where we're at, you know. It's just sad. You know, people wanna laugh and say, Look at United fans and you know, we're in the mud, but we are. And we take that, but one thing we can celebrate is Liverpool's downfall, you know. That's Klopp's true. leaving, you know, you guys losing 3 0 at Anfield. You haven't lost at Anfield to what since what? Twenty when, when was it? Twenty two years ago or something like that. Yeah, Crazy. So it's been a long time. Yeah, the demise is beautiful yeah. to see in PS. And even better, yo, Ryan's stupid self was at the game. Look, oh, is it? Not like a front row seat. Nah, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, nah, Ryan, I heard, I heard you. I heard you were sixteen rows up and ten across. But we need. <laughs> <on, hey, man. laughs> hey, Ryan, hold hey, that. Hey. Hold that. Yeah, hold that, man. It's calm, man. Like, like I keep saying to people, man. Cold. You just need to, you know, utilize this. Utilize this, man. You know. Like, Rose what were the 16, odds? Was the odds 16 to 10, you know? Like, <laughs> we could talk about odds. We could talk about roles. We could talk about percentages. It's crazy, man. But big up Ryan anyway, man. I, 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 um, your picture, hey, hit the man you know, with his shoulder roll, big dog. He's going to be happy until the end of time, big dog. You yeah. got yeah. to roll yeah. with it. Roll with Fact. it. Like, roll with yeah. the punch. So, rap. Embrace sure, it, man. Facts. You said he was 21 rolls up. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> He was 21 close. rows up. Yeah. Close. close. Yeah. Actually, huh? Hey, actually, that's nah, 16. And then if you have 10, what's that? You know what I'm saying? There oh, you there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, listen, this is not, it's not ever going to get old, man. But yeah, man, Liverpool can hold that, man. That's I'll celebrate that. Yeah. Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen in the reverse picture. If they do come back, though, they're going to have a lot of chest. I know these Liverpool fans are going to be like, yeah, what are you not saying now? But... Don't you, none of you Liverpool fans cap. You lot us. You lot are shook right now. Facts. The the the, Carib the um yes. Europa Cups yes. on the verge. Of, you lot on the verge of being out. And if you lot get knocked out of that, you lot were the favourites. I see that clip. Have you seen that clip of Hassan celebrating when they get Atalanta? Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah I think yeah. I watched it. Yeah, because yeah. you were on um Troopsy show, yeah. and I see um yeah. thingy play. Yeah, all right. I was laughing. Yeah. All right, listen, the uh, football gods yeah, is bringing, crazy, man. I was bringing out the footage. <laughs> Yeah, I was bringing yeah, out yeah, the footage. Yeah. Footage, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was this footage yeah. of him, he said, Atalanta, that's who I wanted. And he was dancing, <laughs> like, whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was over there shimmying and shaking. That's what it was, his son. He could hold that, too. And he got hold that too. We were just dropping on a free joke. Hella freeze, man. Throwing up there. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hella freeze. And, and do you know what's so crazy? There's three of us on the show today. Man, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't write it you can't write this script man and i actually did watch the game i watched the second the majority of the second half the liverpool atalanta game atalanta were well, well, they were, atalanta were well they defended very well and then it's like every time they broke they was in a situation where they could have scored 100 oh yeah well, yeah it was over man. i heard so, they overloaded that the, 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 them lots um final third but they were very like disciplined in the track and back end because yes. you know sometimes if you commit too many guys you can get caught in the break. But I heard they did they did it so strategically, yeah, yeah. and I heard I heard Klopp just got outclassed. Yeah, he, he just did. got <laughs> he got, scum, got That's what happened to Klopp. Uh, he's got my car. <laughs> Where's your loan? Or did he that move from West Ham? Yeah, I think he's moved from West Ham. Is Dam, it? Though. Don't quote me on that though. Zappa Costa so, out there doing business and that. Like who? All these guys, Mac uh, who? Salah was out Damn. there. He brought all the big guns. Van Dyke, everyone. Right, yeah. yeah, sure. Long day, man. Oh, man. Long day, man. But yeah, man. You lot, but go on, Anyways, man. you lot can hold that anyway. But back to United, anyway. Back to United. Uh, Manchester United. What's this on my mind? Manchester United. Then this defense, man. Obviously, you're seeing the likes of Kambuala. He's looking promising in terms of the fact that um he stepped into the Liverpool game and did his thing. You know, he's a little. I wouldn't say he's a, he's, he shines bright like Manu, but he stands out. He definitely stands out in terms of what we expect from our youth and the fact that he was passionate, you know, he was disciplined, you know, he looks athletic as well. He looks like he's ready to play for the badge and that's what we need right now. Obviously, we need quality, but he looks like he's potentially, he potentially has the quality there. So, you know, I'll give him a few games, you know, because he's easy, he's young, he's going to be inconsistent as well. 
he's in a bad team as well. So we're going to have moments where, you know, he plays bad and all of a sudden you lot hyped him up. And, you know, this one thing I hate about football right now is how emotional and how recency bias kicks in because mm. you can play good for five games. The moment you have two stinkers, all of a sudden, yeah, you're dead, you're this, you're that. So that's what's annoying. Obviously, people are calling out Haaland and whatever. Haaland, I can understand the criticism to a degree because he's all-round games not there. But at the same time, it's a thing for me where we just need to be patient. These guys are human beings, you know. You're not always going to get these athletes that give you, you know, nine tens out of tens every game. Look at someone like Salah. Someone yeah, like Salah, we class as world class. You know, you I'm not going to write him off. You can't be 16 out of 10 every game. Got you, man. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. That you is the I get you, man. <laughs> Didn't they play 16 out of 10? That is the one. Hey, <laughs> so I'm the telling you, I... press. This, we need the flawless press, dog. The flawless <laughs> press. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, learned, I learned from you, Eddie. I learned from you, man. That's what it is. I learned from you talking That's about kind of borderline, borderline pause, but I'll let it run still. Borderline. I said hey, we need the flawless know, press. Hey, That's kind of. Right. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Let me chill. Let me chill. Hey, I said the flawless that press is, is magic. Crazy. <laughs> now, now that, the, the wheels are turning. That is crazy. No, up. but I, put my no, I hear you though. I hear you, Eddie, man. It's crazy, man. So yeah, football win an era right now where you know everyone's very reactionary, and some of us might be guilty of it sometimes. You know, football is a very passionate and emotional sport, so you're gonna have the moments where we're shameless and look, we were shameless of Liverpool, and then we lost to Chelsea. You know, this, this is football. You feel me? Yeah. But yeah, Camboala, he's looking promising. Hopefully, we can get um a defender around him to like, you know, shadow him in regards to like that person being the experienced one and him, him learning from them, you know, cause you know, in football, you need experience. It's very important. So yeah, man, he's looking promising. Um, obviously you've got the likes of Varane that looks like he's on his way out. Um, I don't know. People are always talking about what they keep and what they sell him. I don't know what the latest news is. I think this week I haven't really tapped into any football news. I've seen a few bits and pieces and stuff, but I haven't really looked at any articles or anything. But our defense is looking quite weak, if you if you're honest, because we've got what? So we've got Martinez and Varane. They are our main two. And yeah. then you've got Evans, you've got Maguire, and you've got Camboala, and you've got um Lindelof. Yes. If you look at Mark Varane, Varane's out now for what? Well, we don't it's know, is it a couple of weeks? It's, yeah, they're saying it's a couple of weeks, but he's it's not season over. Okay. So he's saying he could so, come back. Well, look, so we, we, got got like, that. we got like how many games left? It's damn near. What, he's gonna be back for like the last three, you know? Yeah. Hey, you know what? He might have to just three, sign one up. Of them, one of them. One of them might be an FA Cup final. Hey, he could be needed. Three. Hey, one of them could be because I'm looking here. Game wise, it's what there's seven games left in the Premier League. Um, mm. potentially two more. So basically, nine games. Nine games. Okay. Mm. Yeah, man. So, obviously, in terms of how strong our defence is going towards the end of the season, you know, I'm not worried about this, man, because we just need to sink this ship and just start fixing the problems. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing else yeah. to save in this season. Yeah, we can probably get an FA Cup, which is very unlikely. Maybe we might have Chelsea in the final. And even, what, last game we struggled, struggled to beat Chelsea. I think emotionally, though, I think United do have it in them to beat Chelsea in the final. It could be Chelsea like, in the final. Yeah. I, I you know, favor it. It's only like 60. Because 40. I do favor you know, I, in I probably final. favor our 70 30. Do you know why? I oh. just feel like I can see the. But then again, Newcastle beat be, be us again the next season. But the way we beat Newcastle, where we didn't play well, but emotionally, we've got some of the players that can carry us through that kind of portion of the game. You know, a little, mm -hmm. Chelsea have a lot of inexperienced players when you think about it. Obviously, you've got people like Enzo Das. He's a World Cup winner and whatever. But all these other guys, maybe Palmer's experienced Sterling, but generally that emotion, that experience, they don't have it. So a final might put them on the ropes. You get me? They lost to Liverpool. Um, so we got a chance, but we're crap anyway. It's just, like you say, two cheeks of the same arse. So we don't know who's going to win. You, you can predict Chelsea. You can predict United. You can predict penalties, but... Yeah, man, this season's basically done for me. So I just, I'm not really worried about the injuries. I want to start looking at moving forward, who we're going to get in, who we're going to rely on, who we're keeping, because someone like Varane will be nice. 
I'm not really stressed or upset with his injury because I feel like over the course of the season he's been quite available. So you know, yeah, and when he's played, yeah. he's been alright. When people are talking yeah. about his injuries, because PS said it here, he says we literally have a run right there to uh, do that for Kamba Wala. It's stupid to sell the run, especially if the reason behind that is injury. So if it's yeah. about injury, then Martinez and Sean need to go now. That's, That's why I don't exactly. get. Like I agree with you, PS. People will say the run needs to be sold because of his injuries, but he's been more available than Sean. He's been yeah. more available than Martinez, but we'll say keep those two. Bear in exactly. mind, he's better than Martinez and he's miles yeah. better than Shaw because Shaw's better as a centre back and Varane's yeah. better than them both. But here's the thing they do now, too, Flawless. Here's the thing they do now, too. Now, what they say, now when you bring that up, that, oh, yeah, why are you talking yeah. about Varane when you should be talking about Shaw? Like, oh, yeah, well, we need to sell him, too. No, bro. Varane is at the point in his career where you manage his minutes because of how much football he's played up to this point. Any right. reasonable manager will understand that. And, right. and football, football age is like in dog years. You feel me? Like yeah. they might look young on the yeah. on the tip on the stat on the stat page, but when you think about how much football they play, they body ages. Right? right? Like we talk about this in basketball all the time, not to just switch words, but cool. um even when you get a, a young player, right? Yeah. Like he's 18 years old. But then they start doing like the body diagnostic. You see, you see that they played as much basketball as like a forty-year-old has played in their career. I get to get yeah, to I get that point. Yeah. So I that's the you. thing with Varane. Like you're talking about multiple long-ass Champions League campaigns at the highest level, international career at the highest level. Played a lot of football, and then you put it in context that we just had one of the, one of the most abnormal seasons where you had a World Cup in the middle of the, the, the entire campaign. And then he wasn't getting rotated. You had a bunch of cup competitions. It all adds up to what we're seeing right now from these players. So I think I'm right with you, PS. Um, Kamwala is still, a, he's still a project, people. We can't, you know, we, we've seen young players come on the scene and have a couple good games, but then the book gets put out, the scouting catches up to him. And they don't look like what they look like at the, the moment they arrive. So let him let him develop. It's just again, this bum ass manager is desperate for anything to have any else think that he should come back. So he's putting you see, he's putting all these young players. He yeah. lucked in the final. I don't care what nobody said. Yeah, that was lucked in the final. I don't think he thought he was gonna be like that, or else you don't get Mason Mount to play right. the same position that practically that that uh Mino is playing now. So yeah, let 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 uh Varane stay. But again, if he goes, he goes to be a misstep. I just hope that we get some more senior, talented players to fill in that position. Um, because again, I want McGuire sold. I want Lindelof sold. So you're gonna need to get two more center backs. And you know, if it's on a cheap, that'd be the, that'd be ideal. But if we could just keep Varane and have him reduce his wages. Um, that would be dope too. Yeah, like I, and the thing is, yeah, I, Varane is still our best centre back and has still been playing well. I wouldn't mind if he's like you look at him like a Casemiro whose form has not been it. Varane's form's been good on the yeah. pitch. He's played well. I'm even looking at him playing and he's played 21. This is league games, 21 league games this season. Bear in mind, he was on the bench for three or four. So if he plays in those three or four games, he's playing the most games he's played since he's got here. Like, yes, mm -hmm. the injuries are not the best, but he should still... I don't see the downside to keeping him. What are the cons? I don't understand mm -hmm. what the cons are. Who is he st who's he stopping? It's not like he's stopping somebody getting minutes. Like, I can't mm -hmm. It's not like we have a main O-level centre-back there and you go, all right, Varane's stopping him getting minutes. And he's performing well. I really don't mm -hmm. understand this whole get rid of him. Don't get mm -hmm. it whatsoever. And he's been our best player. To me this season yeah i think he's been our best player overall like when i look at everybody he's performed better than everyone yes that's an indictment of where manchester united are at but he still performed well in a shocking team with a shocking manager yeah. in a shocking season what are we talking mm -hmm. about here because if he was playing poorly yeah. everyone would be quick to point that out everyone would be quick mm -hmm. to say oh he's injury prone and he's playing bad let's get rid of him i want him gone who is he stopping People talking about oh wage cut. How about we get rid of all these all these poor players on big money? How about we do that if we're so interested in saving money? Let's get rid of Rashford, Bruno, McTominay. There you go. He's number Rashford's one. Week. 
Yeah, what's Rashford? 300 k Three seventy five k or something, something like that. Let's say, yeah, let's say it's 300, 350, something like that. Bruno's on what? Two hundred k. That's half a million already. How much McTominay on? Hundred k. That's six hundred thousand. Hey, how much is Lindelof on? Let's say hundred k again. That's seven hundred thousand. How much Maguire on? One hundred fifty. Two hundred. All right, we're closing in on a mill off the wage box. What are we talking about? Yeah. If you yeah. lot are so concerned about money and saving money, how about we get rid of all these players who are not good enough? That's where yeah. we should go. Hey, move Mountain. How much money in Mountain? Probably what? 150, 200K? There we go. That's a mil. Then we, uh, That's dog. a mil. Right. A mil plus. What are we doing? I just... Every time I hear that brother's name, it's the head, <laughs> head hurt, bro. It's yeah. the headache. I, I don't know, bro. It's on the right side, too. Just thrive every time. Yeah. I just hear oh, that, that M-O-U-N-T name just... I really Bruh. don't get it. Ugh. And this is uh, Ten Hag. Bigger Warrior J. More Ten Hag comments. Great. He says, uh, Ten Hag on Bournemouth's, Bournemouth's win at Old Trafford. It was a very good performance against Chelsea in this week. We are, we were mentally not ready for that. So this is also because, yeah, I remember we played Chelsea and then we played Bournemouth after because we played Chelsea midweek. So it was a very good performance against Chelsea in the week. We were mentally not ready for that Bournemouth game in December. They battled versus us and we lost the battles tomorrow will not be different that is the i'm thinking he's saying tomorrow will be different that is not the way they want to play they want to fight with you so you go into that fight have the conviction the belief and you need to support each other to win battles to outplay them outrun them and defending to match the runs how are we not mentally prepared and mentally ready to play bournemouth at home Bloody heck, bro. Do you know what's so mad? Yeah. What annoys me about Ten Hag is that, like, what he's saying, cool, I hear it. But then what do you do to kind of help those circumstances arise? Like, how are you, you say we need to do this, we need to do that. So what are you applying in the, on, the, in, in, in the, on the coaching side of things to kind of implement the mentality, make these players ready, make these players battle, you know, give them motivation, what are you doing? Because I, I feel like, it's, like he just talks. And it's mad because there's been a long period where he hasn't really said things like this. He's just been gemming it, like saying some weird stuff like, oh, um, our division's clear and we played well, whatever. So I like this side of Ten Hag where he kind of admits this is what we're doing and this is what we need to do. But now, cool, the chat is all good. What are you doing now? Are you gonna walk, how are you going to walk this walk? And that's why I, need, like, that's why I don't have faith in this guy, man. Yes, these players are not good enough. We've said this for how many seasons? We know after season one, season two, they, these players always go down a cliff. But at the end of the day, there must be something you can do to... What, the problem with Ten Hag is the direction, like I said last show. There's no direction. We can't see where we're going, innit? Like, I know Eddie does the VAR, but you know, right now I'm trying to click Ten Hag's computer and the bloody thing's crashing. Like, And I'm just... What's wrong with this computer, bro? Like, 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 what's wrong? Like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to get me 10 hours computer. It's just not working, bro. And it's like, if we could see the players in a certain system, in a certain structure, what, two years in now, two seasons in, it will be different. Because we could say we know what he's working on. But if you compare these players, like all these problems that all these pundits and that we're seeing on t Twitter and everything that or that we see on the pitch where you see the midfield gap, you see that we're always losing to cutbacks and set pieces and all of this thing. This is Ten Hag, bruv. These, these problems from what I, correct me if I'm wrong, like did we have these problems under Oli, under um, um, Jose, under Flippin' Van Gaal? Did we have these key issues? We might have had mentality issues and their players' heads dropping, but these key tactical issues, this is Ten Hag. No, I don't think no other coach has had these key problems. And if even if they did, they probably patched it up after a while. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's right. certain games we've seen the players, you know, in their right um, formations or in their and staying, staying disciplined, you know, keeping their positions. And if someone goes out of position, someone covers them. I think I've seen it for like one game. The game, the nil-nil against Liverpool, mm. they played defensively well. They were disciplined, yeah, they, they were strict. Yeah, but why is it not consistent? Why are we 15, 20 minutes FC? Why are we good for 15 minutes, bro? Like That's what I don't understand. So there's clearly a way that Ten Hag's coaching that it doesn't fit these players. 
and he might be able to do this with other players and he might go to another place and he might prove us wrong. It's possible. He could go somewhere else and do the mad thing and we're like, Rocky, he was all right. Maybe it was more the players and maybe it was certain things, but what he's doing is not working. And what concerns me is that he's a coach. You can't just have one way. You should be able to adapt. You've been yeah. able to research the Premier League all these years. You made comments about Pep. Um, what's the comment that we looked at the last time when he was talking about how Pep um, has anticipated the Premier League run and that you've seen all of these things. You've played against Premier League teams in the Champions League. So you've had you've had time to sit down with the players. He left Ajax early. As soon as they lifted up that trophy, the next yeah, day he was in Manny. You get me? He was in Manny next day. So I'm thinking, we're seeing all of this. We're thinking, rah, say no more. Like, my man's on it. Like, he's coming to work. Yeah, but thanks. we're not ole, seeing... Ole, ole, ole. Ole, ole, ole. ta ta Hey. <laughs> Liverpool, hold that. Hold <laughs> that. Little Vino. Little Vino. Hey, hey. I don't even mean to do it. I'm just disgusted at it. I don't know. Nah, it's coming. No stress, man. I encourage it, man. All Liverpool slander is encouraged over here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? By the way, people, sorry, I've completely interrupted Rhino and that, yeah. Now nah, you're yeah. good. B-ball's, well, yeah, B-ball's on, been man. epic this week. I'm just saying, and I've been gassed. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. And <laughs> Reeves was taking on Draymond Green. Anyway, if Rhino, you're slacking, you're missing. Yeah, yeah all anyway. I want to say is, hey, hey, Zion, the way Zion was moving yesterday. Oh, do you know what? I fell asleep. I need to watch that. Oh, yeah, Zion, that. Was, Zion was just grabbing the ball and was screaming, yo. Do you know what it is about basketball, you lot? Like, yeah. Well, doing that thing where he's just indestructible. Nah, he just goes like, to the hoop and no He just got the ball and just drove every time. Yeah, he's like, bro. You shot all right, all right, all right, all right, guys, calm down, relax, relax. When he's talking basketball, when he's it's hot, just man. it's just grown men throwing, you know, playing with balls <laughs> in their hands, paws, you know. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. No, do you know what it is about basketball? Yeah, well, I can't get into right. it. I swear to you guys, I've tried to watch it. When I, <laughs> you might laugh because it just might might not make sense to you, love. But let me try and explain it. When I'm watching it, it just feels like, all right, cool. When you lot are watching football and it's end to end, and you lot are like, yeah, it's a, it's a basketball game, man. This game is, this football game's replicating a basketball game. That's how I feel when I'm watching basketball. It sounds dumb. It just feels, okay, they're going to score. Okay, they're going to score. Okay, they're going to score. I don't see the, I don't, I, I can't see it in a way where I understand the tactics and that I can see techniques and that. Because I feel like all basketballers are good. They're either going to yeah. shoot and get in or they're going to miss. I don't see that intricacy into it. That's what you know, it is for me. It's just a question of yeah. just watching it at like different teams because like very much yeah, so. Yeah, I, only yeah. got, I only started getting into basketball when I started live streaming. I didn't know about basketball. Is so I'm newbie. I'm like two, three years in. So when me and Eddie, Eddie was oh. there, when I started watching basketball, I didn't know what I was watching. That's why I'd ask Eddie. It just felt like end to end. Like, obviously. okay, what's the yeah, big but deal? It is yeah. like, it's, it's, the way the game is played now, like yeah, if yeah, you're yeah. watching like, 10 years ago you'd say like okay you know what there's some tactics going on but now it's all about individual skill oh, and uh um, okay. who can make the three-pointer pretty much in the regular yeah, season yeah 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 but it gets the playoffs when it gets the playoffs that's when you start to see coaches earn their money but you're right like i get i get pissed myself like because i'm not used to this kind of game that they're playing nowadays. So you're not you're not wrong at all. You're not wrong at all. Like yeah. it very much mirrors if you go to like a park and you see the pace that they're playing at just end yeah. to end, end to end. Only only like playoff does it get to like a point where you're gonna see like individual matchups and and, and systems how they work. But there okay. are a couple teams that keep it alive. Um but yeah, you know you ain't tripping. You ain't tripping. Yeah, man. I've had, yeah, man. Because I'm watching it, and then there's just a certain thing they do when they get towards like their opponent's thing, where it's like they don't want to shoot straight away. It's like they have a little certain build up, and then someone, then you can see when they're about to. Sh- it's like a. It, I think I just have to get yeah. used to it, to be honest. No, you just but. have to watch a sport. Just watch it's, it. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's just, it's just, just watch, watch it. Yeah. And then obviously when you're watching it, and then there's different teams and different players and and things of that nature. And then once you find like, because yeah. there'll be a player that you you're a yeah, fan of, like yeah, in terms yeah, of skill set. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. what happened to me. Yeah, and like, there's a couple yeah. players I watched who I'm like, all right. And then you, that's when you get you like Solis. Uh, KD, KD and Kyrie, my two favorite players. Kyrie, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KD and no, Kyrie. Like, even people players. like Lillard, Lillard and stuff like that. Oh, Dame's cold. Don't get him mistaken. Like Zion cold. as well. Like, yeah, like Zion. I just like how Celtics got stuffed in it. Tatum's face yeah. after the game was like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Wounder. Do you know what I mean? 
<laughs> and Jan, Jan was thingy, wasn't it? He was he got, had a little injury in that, and they still, they still bodied him. Yeah, Jan has got injured. Hopefully, you know what? I like Reeves. You know, Reeves is growing on me. But yeah, anyway, this is a football podcast, people. So yeah, well, that's <laughs> about, that being said, speaking of that, people, we will be live tonight. Marathon. Speaking of NBA on the playback, we will be live over there on the playback. Lakers Grizzlies, and then there's two matches. Is who is it? Suns. I will keep mixing it up. I think it's Suns Kings and Pelicans versus somebody. I actually forgot, but we'll be there watching it regardless, yeah. people. I think Wait, it's Pelicans checked, Kings. We checked in on Suns Warriors. I think. Oh no, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. He was there yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He's devastated. He was there yesterday. He was on the watch along. Yeah, yeah. It's Kings. He was like, it's we suck. We're gonna lose. We suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said we suck. We're gonna lose. Fuck Harrison Barnes. Like, that's what he just said. His face fucks a bonus. Yeah, Sheik was. Sheik was. No, not Sheik. Don't take it to all. When Zion's on, he's on. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, Zion he's, was just yeah, like I say. He was just every time he grabbed the ball, he was like, "Yo, mismatch." Man was missing shots, grabbing his own rebound. Do them things there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zion was on. Yeah. When he's not, when he's not, when he's locked in, and he's not paying strippers tuition every other night, he's a hell of a player. He's a hell of a player. Yeah. Facts. Telling you. That's yeah, uh, he a tuition and pampers merchant. That's what that's what we be calling him. Oh my god. Yeah. Big up to Jez in the cut as well. But yeah, we'll be live yes. with the program, people. But shout out Jez. And that being said, if you sign up to the highest tier of membership, people, you can we'll be live for the, the entire playoffs, all of the Western Conference games. You can watch along with us on the playback as well. But we'll we'll get, we'll get back to it. We'll get back to um um, no, you can't watch. You can't rewatch on playback. Unfortunately, Warrior Jay. Big up to everyone who actually qualified for the playoffs. Jez already taking shots, but shout out to Jez each and every time because OKC okay, are through. <laughs> but um, where was we at, Rhino? What was we talking yeah. about? Oh yeah, his comments. This this this, this guy's comments about oh we weren't yeah. mentally. Ready. Why are we not mentally ready for Bournemouth? That's Why what I'm saying. Ready? And what Leon could probably even add on stuff to stuff to what I'm gonna say. Like I just yeah. feel like. When Ten Hag is identifying issues and he's talking about when he's criticizing certain things, I like that side to him, isn't it? But it's just he just talks and just doesn't apply nothing. And like I was going back to his coaching, I feel like his coaching might be good somewhere else. You know, it might work in a certain way when he's got certain people around him or whatever. But the way we anticipated his history in terms of what he's done at Ajax how far he reached the Champions League and stuff like that, how good Ajax was and stuff like that. Obviously, we know there's other contexts as to why they're good, but just where, what he seemed like he was going to be before he came to the club, it seemed promising. It seemed like we're finally getting a coach coach, you know. You had someone like Oli, you had Carrick. They weren't proper coaches, you know. Oli was more of the legendary kind of person coming in. Let's see if you can do your thing. Maybe in hindsight, you look back and you think, okay, maybe put a coach next to him. You know, work together. Ollie's the person that keeps everyone's morale up, keeps every all the personalities cool. The coach does the tactics. Cool. Put it together. Bam. But with Ten Hag, you just felt like, yeah, this guy's going to install tactics. He did it as well last season. You know, we went to the likes of City, Liverpool, Arsenal at home, and we won. Whether there were certain things in the game that helped okay. us, you know, there was, there was something that we could build from. So that was promising. And then he gave us that belief that, no matter what team we play, there's a way we're going to win. You know, he's going to figure it out. There were certain things he was doing. His in-game management was decent. So we know there's something there. But where has it gone this season? You pressure, know, you've man. tried to revert. You've it's tried to start good. again. The pressure's yeah. caved in. But then that just shows me maybe Man United's too, too big of a job for you. If you can't handle the pressure at this club, maybe he didn't anticipate that. He just thought he's now and everything will work and he can just freestyle it. But the pressure actually got to him. You, you hear him talking nonsense in the press conferences. You hear him never taking accountability no more. You don't see him you hear trying him to saying fix we the problems. We weren't mentally ready to play Bournemouth at home. We weren't we mentally were ready to play week. Bournemouth. He that's a bar. He thinks that's a bar. He thinks that's something that he should be telling everybody. It's mad, bro. It's See, mad. Went, went but, guys, you're ready. missing the whole thing. <laughs> Play bombers <laughs> at home, people. I don't think people realize. Did nobody pull him up and go, wait, hold up. Stop all the questions. Hey, everyone, <laughs> did, you hear, did you hear what he just said? Did you just hear what this man <laughs> what did you, what did you just say? Somebody say somebody uh, you know, I right, flew us. In the press conferences, the, 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 the almost like, you know, he's there. Everyone starts moving like, yeah. like Wait, did you not just hear what just, <laughs> did no one just nudge that budget next to them and go, did you say, hey, every, like, sorry, can you repeat that, please? That's one of them. You know, like when we on stream, like you've seen it, and when, when Ryan says some dumb shit, and I go, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Did you just say what I thought you said? Like, just to clarify, like, you love seeing that. You know what I'm saying? Many a time. And speaking of devil, 
the many a time you lot Eddie's been there, you lot in the regulars who have been here long enough that I've seen Ryan's stupid face on the channel. But he says something dumb on here, and I go, wait, 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 hold up, repeat that. What did you just say? You know what I'm saying? And like, what did you, what, what did you just say? And he says, "Bun flawless riding with Liam." Big up yourself, Eddie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah, going to yeah, talk yeah. like this for the rest of the show so you can see it flash. R. R. 16 R. 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 out of 10. It's Eddie Cochran, dog. Yeah, there yes. we go. 16 out of 10. No, no, Andy. put me back. Put me back for Lewis. Put me back for Lewis. I got you. I got you. I got you. Uh, yeah, listen, guys. You know, I just want to say to the ladies that you guys are looking 16 <laughs> out of 10. Bird crickets. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that. Out. Oh, that. Hey, just, hey, no hey, hey, Rhino, you being in music, you need to pay my brother some royalties. You know, I'm Ryan's new uh, management team. Okay, so say no more. Yeah. You know, you, you know, you know, you know, what no the more. you know what the management team called? You. you know what the management team's called? The 16 percenters. But um, big up to SP, says, <laughs> Carlos, when will the 16 out of 10 merch be out? Looking forward to it. So it'll be available to pre-order by the end of this week, so by Sunday, and then next week I'll launch it properly. I'm literally just trying to get it distributed and get it sorted. Talk, I spoke to my guy earlier who makes them. I'm just trying to weigh up the costing and get it sorted and get the designs patterned. But the website's almost, the website's pretty much done. So it'll definitely be available to pre-order by the end of this week. You lot, the site will be out on all of that stuff. So big up to you, ST. There'll be t-shirts at first. That'll be the only thing done. Say again? To what you say, Rhino's, to Rhino's point, to Rhino's mm -hmm. point, like, if you think about it, this this was the issue that we used to have with all of you. Talk about it. Just going up to the presser saying dumb shit. Yes. Going up, going up. Anytime he had a mic in his face, he was just saying dumb shit. Saying dumb and shit. And the theme, the, the cycle continues with this guy. I mean, now granted, if he, if there was a, a language barrier, right, that was plain and obvious to see, I'd give him a bit more grace. But when he speaks, he speaks as though he actually has a great understand, a common understanding of the language. So he doesn't really have that out. Mm -hmm. And it's just like hearing a coach say that and not put any of that accountability on himself. Like we, I say it all the time, like you're either coaching it or you're allowing it. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, you're, you're definitely I'd rather, to blame. I'd rather he just put... 11 players who believe in his message and, and run with that. Now it just seems like you're being subservient to the players. Like you just doing what they say. Oh, yeah, I feel like playing. Like especially when it, the Rashford thing was all I needed to see. Like it, it was one of the issues that I thought could arise with him being here and the way we're currently set up. Mm -hmm. um, because when you look at the Ajax Foundation, that's an institution that's been there at the highest level since kind of like they were created like they have a history and more importantly they had an infrastructure with the dof like bandersar and it's another i think a football director like overmars who could kind of alleviate the issues that he created whether that be with players or with people on the stack you can just tell his personality is, is one that can kind of send people the wrong way um mm -hmm. and so yeah, he he has screwed up greatly in this position because you don't have you can tell the players aren't playing for you. They're playing for themselves and their personal pride. Right. Um, you look at the tactics, the tactics aren't there. And then you look at the control you wanted over the transfer budget and the transfer idea and you screwed that up as well. Yeah, and so, look at Leon out here giving Ryan hope. I respect it, man. He says, big up, Ryan. Hopefully that famous line is working for you, bro. I told you. And actually, Ryan, you know what? Newsflash for you, idiot. Because he says, I stand by it. As long as Sophie Rose never sees the video, I'm good. You think I care what these randomers think about it? Hey, troops have shown it to Sophie Rose. How about that one, mate? Who's <laughs> Sophie Rose? That? The um, Sophie Rose, the Chelsea fan that Troops works oh, with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes them. Man. She's seen it. You know, you know, hey, Brian, she's seen it. Glass half full. Glass half full. She might have thought it was cute, dog. She was laughing at you too. You know what I'm saying? That's we all are, man. You know what I'm saying? We all out here laughing. You're not going to do my yeah. client like that. Well, it's out here for my client. Hey, hey, hey. Your client, you know what? You know what? Your client did this to himself. By the way, can I just say, the two girls below us are looking 16 out of 10 today, both of them. All right. Big up the panel. I told as far. 
Oh, the timing in this shit. The original um, snow hits, but the, the timing, the hits. timing, because it's like it's like that uppercut you don't see because you don't know what was the entry point for you to play the video. Because you played so much, I don't know what, what to expect. I know it's gonna happen sometime. I don't know when. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 my boy dream. Let my boy dream. Let him dream. But see, Martin Luther King wasn't the only brother with a dream, man. Let him oh dream. Oh, my God. Talk. Is, Talk. Man. Talk. Yeah, man. Big up to Sheik in, in the court as well, man, every single time. And SD I says big up will be copy one. Like I said, they will be available, man. I'm just piling it. You lot know these stuff. These things are tough. But pre-orders definitely by Sunday will be available. I'm trying to get it sorted today. But by the weekend, it will be sorted pre-orders. And then next week, we'll launch. Probably on the 16th. <laughs> 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 your launch on the 16th that said oh this will go out when's the 16th what day is that next week hold on let me check the date oh, oh that's my god oh this yeah yeah we'll launch, on the, yeah, we'll, we'll launch on the 16th we'll launch on the 16th Hey, on the I'll give you. I'll give you even one more up from that. You can yeah, make yeah, 16th ahead. of October a special oh, day for this. Oh yeah, that's you know a special I mean? day. We already spoke about yeah. that. It's Ray Day. Oh yeah, there you, there you go. There you go. 16th of Ray October. Day. <laughs> yeah, man, it's Ray Day. 100. I like. I've already <laughs> said on Tuesday we're gonna do special edition Valentine's Day. Oh, Christmas look what she's got. Oh, oh, look what oh, she's got. Yeah, I'm saying it. Yeah, man. Look what she's got. Oh, more oh, tempting. Oh, Spot. That's like Kawaja, Kawaja, Kawaja. It is, man. We definitely, hey, definitely, hundred percent hey, running him. All special. You know why you messed him up? Dog, as as soon as he says like ten past four. I'm born on the sixteenth of October. Christmas Day. Right, Happy like Christmas Day. Morning. Christmas. Um, Valentine's Day, birthday. We gonna do all to any holiday that is. We'll be doing a special edition of it. Of both of the of the teas, hundred percent. I've you already. We should do? Like, I'll give you something we should do. We should contact Riz and send it him and get his opinion. <laughs> it's going viral. This thing's going clear. I see it everywhere. Somebody man. message Riz. Whoever can get to Riz, someone see, message him. I see it everywhere. But hey, man, shout out, shout out, shout out, Ryan, man, for this for that infamous madness. clip, man. Oh, it's well, so yeah, great. What you Where was that? You're talking yes. about the ten up thing. Oh, cool. So, saying this dumb shit. Look at this. Wait, let me just get to this. Hold on, one second. This part, I can't believe he said this. is like Warrior J is making up. I feel like he's trolling us, man. No, we don't. It was a very good performance against Chelsea in the week. We were mentally not ready for that Bournemouth game, 3-0 in December. They, what do you mean you weren't mentally ready for it? Because you played Chelsea? Basically, in my opinion, Ten Hag is Kurt Angle. Because when you when you used no, to watch Kurt WWE, Angle. yeah? Oh, when you used to watch God. WWE, yeah? You'd hear the intro, like before the intro, you'd hear like someone's mic get locked off and you used to get gassed. Like, is it Undertaker? Is it Rock Rara? And then when Kurt Angle comes, yeah, you suck, you suck, pause, you suck, pause. Do you know what I mean? So that's literally what you would be, what it'd be. So that's Ten Hag hilarious. for me, yeah, is just a disappointment because he came in, te- Kurt Angle's got Olympic pedigree, wrestler and all that, yeah, great. Did that Ajax and that, yeah. Came in, stunk out the joint. So for me, Tanog, yeah, I mean he's he's mm-hmm. clutching, he's he's clutching that pause as well. You know what? This pause thing's getting out of control, you know. But um he's um he's he's desperate because at the end of the day, yeah. When when you give somebody silence, which is what Ineos are doing now, talk about it. you like you're letting him like you're just letting him like um how can I describe it? It's like going into a job interview, yeah? I used to do interviews at my sales place, yeah? Mm-hmm. And I used to listen to them. People tell you the dream, this, that, done this, da 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 And I used to just sit there. And the last question I'd ask them is I'd just be like, great. And I'd just stare them blank in the face to see whether they keep eye contact as well, yeah? And I'd be like, so what motivates you? I'd just go completely silent. And people are just like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. tell me you could have no pedigree in what you do. But if you can answer that question with conviction, I'll take you more seriously than somebody that's done this, that, da, 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 da. do you know what I mean? Because your attitude, your mindset towards something. So what I'm basically saying is, because Ineos are not saying anything, this guy is desperately trying to PR and sell to the fans right enough. anything that he can. Yeah. Like, it, you know you're desperate when you're talking about GA, played well for half an hour. We played well. It's like... Talk about it. It's just... It's just it's just madness and 
the sad thing is that we've got the legends and people who are on the Sky Sports. That's why, let's take this back to basketball. They just keep it real. I love watching yeah, the commentary on basketball. They yeah, 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 yeah. They're the honest. Trash. They're super honest. Yeah, yeah like shacking them on a bus and joke in the studio. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just like Amanda, isn't it? Like, facts, facts. Um, yeah. I like Chuck and all that. Yeah, I hear you, man. They're very critical as well about yes. like what, yeah, about every single shot and stuff. So I think like this right. guy's desperate. Um, are these previous comments from a few weeks ago? No, these are recent. I think he's a recent still. Because then because Warrior J's put him in today. Chelsea so since the, since the last game, yeah, probably since the the who do we play the last game? What do you mean like, these came out after Chelsea before Liverpool or these came out after Liverpool? No, these comments right here, these are after the Liverpool game. These are recent. Oh comments. right. So he's going back. Yeah, he's yeah, doing he's talking, the reason why he's talking about Bournemouth is because we're playing Bournemouth on the weekend. So that's why he's talking about the Bournemouth game. Oh, okay. Because remember, um, like, because remember, before we Bournemouth beat us three 0 at Old Trafford, we played Chelsea in the midweek. We played Chelsea midweek, so we beat Chelsea two one and then lost to Bournemouth three 0 So we say last time, oh yeah, because here's the rest of the comments. So then he says, tomorrow will be different. Uh, will not be different. That is the way they want to play. They want to fight with you, so you go into that fight, have the conviction, the belief, and you need to support each other to win battles, to outplay them, outrun them, and defending to match the runs. Okay, so there's two angles to this. So basically, Ineos are two-faced right now from Batman. That's what Ineos are right now. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, it's like he's covering himself, and he's using the angle. If you read that properly, he's actually covering himself from... If they win, he can talk about the mentality wasn't right. So he's putting everything onto the players. He's ready to just push the thing aside to him. They need to defend well. They need to do this. They need to do that. So he's he's covering himself. That's what he's doing. And he can turn around and take all the plaudits if they win. And if they don't, then he can say, well, I told them they need to have the right mindset. I told them they need to battle. I told them they need to defend well. Do you know what I mean? And that takes the emphasis on the way we're set up, the system that he's been trying to implement that's not working, his in-game management, his tactical, the way he man manages and motivates the players. So it's like, it's 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 the same thing recycled and rebottled. It's like all those things were like four or five things I just mentioned, yeah. But then he'll go, no, 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 it's the players. I need I need another window. So it's going to be yeah. interesting, guys. I think that such we're going to find out everything we need to know in the next four to six weeks. Yeah. And I hope it's not the Ineos keeping him because if there is, they can't they're really. F2. We'll get to we'll get to that in a second. Actually, that's a good point. But before we continue, big up to everyone that is locked in. Whether you're watching live right now or watching it back, watching this back after the live, or you're listening on one of the audio platforms, make sure you hit the like button on the video. Please make sure you do that. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel Sarcasm City TV. If you're watching, listening, sorry, on Spotify, hit the follow five star us as well. Same with iTunes as well. But there's no way any of us can keep them because. You, we're going, we've heard conflicting reports. Oh, no way, we're though. Hear so we, just don't, we just don't know yet. I mean, I don't think it's going to happen, but... Oh, they can't. Happen. If you know what it is, boys? I have to keep it, it, keep it in the back of my head as like a yeah, thing because I'm like, what if it's all just... What's it called? A pipe dream or whatever it is. Yeah, so... But you, Karen, sorry. Mm. No, no, I was just saying, like, we're going to hear conflicting reports like we've already heard over the summer because it's Manchester United because we've heard Ineos want to keep him. We've already heard Ineos want to get rid of yeah, him. We've also it, heard yeah. that Ineos are undecided. My point is, I hear you. When I say they have to get rid of him, not that they will definitely get rid of him. I'm just saying for their sake, there's no way they can go into this new regime with Eric Ten Hag and have some of the majority of the fan base on side. That tells me all I need to know. If they say yes, Ten Hag is the guy. They can go get the best technical director and director of football and recruitment and replace the medical staff and the transfer strategy changes and the recruitment of players is better. That's all well and good. But if they keep Ten Hag, let me know where you lying serious. No way. What if there's a scenario where they, they've they not got all that structure in place and they're waiting until the pieces are there before they make the decision, so they just carry oh, on? No, that it. makes sense. No, no, just no. because well, he's in they contract, should... they'd have to pay him. I get I get that from now till the end of the season, but you have ample time to get everything in place, in my opinion. From now up until, let's say, June, July, you should have everything off the field. Yeah, because you're literally damage limitation letting him go as well. Do you know what I mean? By yeah. the way, Sheik has absolutely destroyed Ryan on that. You said moment. roses are red, violets are blue. Ryan thinks Sophie's a 16 out of 10, but she doesn't know. God damn, she... <laughs> God damn. No, Sheik... Sheik's the goat. I'm not gonna lie. That that yo, comment yo, there yo, yo, is absolutely is ridiculous. Ah, damn. Yo, that is brilliant. That is mad. 
<laughs> Ryan, I know you're busy, but if you read that, that is just crazy. Man. Oh, God. Oh, God. I read Violet's <laughs> Ryan thinks so. Oh, you know? that is <laughs> cold. You, don't know you. <laughs> you know what you need? You need that on the back of a limited edition tee. Only 10 of these oh, available. That, that's, like, that's like for battle rap. That's how oh. harsh that was. That's like oh. a battle rap bar. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 Battle rap, they just get to the Maybe point. you should make a one-off where it says, Ryan thinks I'm 16 out of 10 and send it to Sophie. I do that. To once I've done the five. first look. Yeah, I can't even know it. Like, like Ryan, I don't know either. But yeah. like <laughs> now, Ryan's finished. Man, <laughs> he's done out absolutely dinnered, mate. Dinnered, man. He's more dinnered than Ten Hag. Like, this oh, is the part of the story, dinner. people. Don't come on Sarcasm City and do madness. Like, just yeah, just don't talk. <laughs> you know what? Again, like Lex has been saying, don't talk foolishness. If you don't talk foolishness, you'll be okay. We all get right. things wrong, yeah. Yeah. but he just yeah. gets things spectacularly wrong. That's what it is. Trying to impress you, you know? man. <laughs> spectacularly wrong. Yeah, you know. like, he just, he just dying. He just crashes out in like spectacular fashion. You feel me? Like, we all take L's. We all had to take that L just horrendously. Bear in mind, that's like three years ago. And there's more clips. That's the funniest shit. There's more Ryan clips of more Ryan L's. Don't get a mistake. Yeah, he's, he, at least he's hilarious. consistent. That's the thing about my, my dog is consistent now. He's consistent. Okay, this won't be the first. This won't be the first time or the last time. Put my dog with two more 16s. He will show up right. I'm telling you right now. Put my dog Ryan what he considers a 16. He'll show up right. I got faith in him. I got faith in him. We pushing the Ryan... Ryan agenda. The risen. Yeah, we're gonna organize something. Question, Plus, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna chat to you. Hey, I'm gonna uh, Charles. I've got a little idea still. Really? I'm gonna. I've got a question here yeah, for Ryan. Yeah, this yeah, is a good on. question. If you is he watching? If he's hopefully he's watching. He's, he right. might he might have dipped, but go on. He yeah. might run. Ryan, if you see this, yeah, I got a question for you. If you could replay that scenario again, what <laughs> line would you use instead? <laughs> The thing is, he's tried it with oh. them two before. Which just oh, not, for real. Just like, oh yeah, oh. like don't, don't get him mistaken. The reason why Jan was so still and for those that don't know that's the second yell on the clip is because she was just used to him talking shit the whole time she said it because i had it oh. on here because jan's my that's my g i know i've known jan for years and she was like he just talk, spoke so much rubbish during that period they didn't even register what I, he had said because he was constantly so, shooting yeah. shot during lockdown well, he was, he like, he, oh he's just talking like... just nonsense about the girl looking good it was nothing spectacular like that like in 16 out of 10 but like the girl looked great the girl so what good. did it become like a yeah. joke where it's not yes, yes. don't take it Ryan but was he genuinely Ryan. trying though yeah, of course he was genuinely trying <laughs> Ryan, did you say it became a joke is him of course, it's <laughs> Ryan. He is the joke. Hey, no Riz, no, that's there mad. Is, that's there, is no, no there, is no punch, there is no punchline. The punchline is Ryan. He is the joke. Oh, wait, you, you know the, um, the Danny clip's yeah, funny yeah. as well. You got to clip that one as well. That one's funny. Oh, you're talking about, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's there. You know what I'm Biggest. saying? There's more. Oh. Oh, Ooh, hi. Because that's the same stream. It's the same live stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same live stream, oh, man. Hi. He goes, Ooh, hi. I was saying, it's like, damn. What I was saying, this guy just be out here just chatting that's rubbish. Tough. About is he is it is it? I was there. I was in the comments for that one. That you was in the comments. Any remembers? Because like I say, that was like three years. What was like your reaction? I bet you were just there, like yeah, yeah. It's a rap. You know I'm saying, and this man saying it's more than bullying. I was typing. I had to. I had to. It was a rap, bro. It was he deserves rap. it all. Because even through this, he still be chatting shit. So no, he deserves it all and more. You all seen what Hassan said? There's a reason he Hassan had a nasty. Said, yeah. He had a nasty Kane agenda at the time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Kane thing is, we just can't find it. We can't find that clip. I need to go and find I, it. I was gonna say, can we talk uh, about this point? This is a good point. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Ed says the only reason why I potentially could see any of us keeping him is they're hoping a specific manager is available in 2025. For example, I think the Zerbi's contract is till 2025. Before you respond to this, if this is the way we're going about business, I don't like it. We are Manchester United. Go in there and be bull and play bully. Right. It's Brighton. Why are we waiting for Brighton? It's, let's say hypothetically we want the Zerbi, which could be the case, Ed. And we, so why are we waiting until 2025? It's Brighton, no disrespect. Well, go take their manager. Broader, so everything go, yes, done. exactly. Go take their manager. Yeah. Hey, we want Deserby. All right, how much is his compensation? If we are sitting around waiting, I do not want any of us out. And mm. if they're saying, oh, it's one manager or bust, I don't like that either. It should be a style. That's what yeah. it should be. We want this style. Yes, have your order of who you want, but let's say you can't get Deserby, go get someone who plays similar to Deserby. Who maybe is not at the level who we don't know, but we'll see if they keep it. If they keep Ten Hag, yeah, get everybody out, get everybody out. Go on, yeah. No, the, I think you just covered the point I was going to say. It's like it's, it's dead interesting. It's like it's like 
Are the I, I would question this is what I question a lot on stream, Joe. Are the fans ready for change? Because I feel like we're a very unique, we've got a very unique history as a club. They call it a model, a philosophy, a style, what is it, an identity, which I don't think we have an identity, to be honest with you. Um we've been used to that same manager for 20 years. So I feel like it's like it's like anything really. Do you know what I mean? Like you might, you might, um, I don't know, you might have like a, a piece of furniture in your house and it's been there for ages and then it breaks yeah. and you cry about it. No, you just replace it, bro. Like it's just the way it goes, yeah. isn't it? Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like when it's done, it's done. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I feel like with us, football has changed during the time that we've been within our turmoil in the last 10 years. When you see Fergie leave, it was probably starting to change then. Do you know what I mean? But the era of a manager. Can you have a manager that stays in the club for four, five, six, seven, eight years? Of course you can. But yeah. everything has to be set up for that. But where we are now, people have got to remember, number one, that there is a rebuilding process. And I know that that word's been abused. I can use that because I'm using it sensibly, not to bloody cover up what doesn't make sense. Um, and we need to go through maybe another two, three managers with the right structure or build a fairly good structure we need people that are knowledgeable and can use the resources that we've got because i hate the argument of like doesn't matter who comes in nothing will change and um, yeah like we we're never gonna get rid of these players and all this it's just rubbish like it's like we spend so much money we spend so much money and we just waste it so for me are the fans ready for change because that's what it's going to take and you might have to accept that a manager gets a two-year deal he drags us up the table to a fourth spot. Then he gets his hand over time. But at that point, we're looking at the squad and we're going, okay, cool. These guys can play a little bit. To be honest with you, Flawless, everything you say rings through my head about six, seven out of ten players. That's where I think we're at because you get that. It's a lot easier because you can look at your squad and go, we just six need a, we just need four, five. Sevens, yeah, yeah, man. Not every player has to be 16 out of 10. Get your sixes and sevens. Oh, you flawless. then get your 16s and then you're good. What do you mean? I mean, serious? Not even joking. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like for me, it's like the fans, the, the fans, we've got this like kind of privilege thing where we're kind of like, um, we're kind of like, oh, we're United. How dare us go to Bournemouth and pick up a player? We're United. How dare us go to Forest and get a player? We're United. How dare us go to Tottenham and get a player? Well, that's what big clubs do. They go and pinch the guys that are the best in that team. Yes. And Rance okay. made a really good point the other day. I think he was on stream with Rance and he was saying about um, our baseline of the players that leaves our club, that floor, need, that's, that floor needs to come up a level. Like, when you look at, like, Fletcher, uh, O'Shea, um, throw some other names if you've got them. They went on and captained other clubs. Was you on that? Yeah, 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 no, yeah. I wasn't on that it, show, but I remember you talking about, like, players who, have, players who had left that club. They left us. Like, they captained other teams. Like, Donald Donald Neville. Shea, I feel yeah, that like Wes Brown, I Phil Neville, and Nicky Bot, etc. Yeah, I get the point you're making 100% because they're of a certain level and of a certain standard. Yes, without doubt. Exactly. And it's like, um, we have to start with just actually being comfortable on the ball. That sounds mad because United fans are, oh, we need to go win and we need to beat this team. No, no, no. We need to. No, you, you're right, right on it. Just got to stay comfortable on the ball for a bit. Do you know what I mean? Just got to have guys that actually make sensible decisions. And you might look at them and be like, oh, He's not the best shooter or he's not the best weight of pass or I don't know, like whatever that you, you're looking for. But right now, that's not there on the pitch. It's really awful. Like, it's really, really bad. And are you ready for that evolution process? Are you ready to bring in a couple of free transfers for a couple of years and then they end up going out the door? They go, Are you ready for that? Or are you still starboying where you're like, nah, he's not good enough for us? We are not. We are not yeah. in a position, Flo, just to finish up. We're not in a position yes, where we, we can say he's not good enough for us because a lot of our players are not even like Palace level, some of the way they play and stuff. They're like not of the level. I get what you're saying. And that's where... They are of the... Some of them are. Some of them are, yeah. It's where the new regime needs to... I say it all the time, forget what the fans think. And you not focus on the team and focus on the squad and improving us. And results, results and performances will tell us. Well, the, the, we start that, getting the second results, one you said first, the, the performances will lead performances, us. Yeah. And if we see a clear style, we'll go, okay, even with else, we'll go, all right, 
yeah. I can see it. I can actually see what we're trying to do. Like, as much as we banter in Klopp and Liverpool, from when he got to Liverpool up until now, you can see exactly what exactly. he's trying to do. Straight away whether you well. think it's good enough, whether you think it's not, whether it's with their quality players, whether it's with the players he had at the start, you fully see. Same way with Pep. When Pep's first season in the Manchester City, they struggled. They finished fourth. However, you could see exactly what he was trying to do for Zerbi, who's mentioned in here. You see what he's trying to do with Brighton. And wherever he goes, it will probably be the same thing. Back well, to Sean Dyche, who's currently just, at Everton. Just to touch you on that point, yeah, that's, yeah. you've just hit the nail on the head. Because when you look at Liverpool this season, their fans know it's not that good a Liverpool team. They know it. Yes. I speak to Liverpool fans, they know it, innit? But yeah. they're still competing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because they, they rely team, on the principles. They rely it's not on that good a team, is it? You know when you break it down, man for man, it's not that great a squad, you know? Right. Yeah, it's Sorry, not... go on. Like yeah, I was watching them. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, You're right. I was watching them lose against Atalanta. Yeah, Darwin Nunes is awful. He's awful, isn't he? He's so bad. He's not. Wait, uh, they, they did what? They did what, Leon? Huh? They did what, Leon? Lost to Atalanta. But yeah, sorry, Eddie. Go on. No, no, no. I'm with you, Mars. You preach it. You preach it because it's like you said, like. They know what they're gonna do every every game. The crazy yes. part is the other team knows what they're gonna do, and they still can't stop it. It's and it's, it's what hard. it's what we talk about when it comes to coaching. Klopp has figured out a way to minimize the deficiency of the Nunes, make him somewhat mm -hmm. more effective. Salah, he mastered the whole Salah game plan. How to because we know technically he's not that great, but. Yeah. He puts him in positions to to fuck all that. I'm gonna get these goals and assists. Yeah. Um. You look at the back line. Uh, Trent, terrible defensively. Let me put him more in a going forward type of situation where you have to see what makes him unique. Um. Now Van Dyke and Kanate, we we don't speak on them because I don't think there's any saving them. But like you said, like that's just their quality shown. This dude, Ten Hag, got everybody looking like a bum. And they, are, they aren't they are that good, but they're not as bad as what he's making them look like, I think. I think we, that's fair to say. Because I'm looking, and it's like, they can't make simple passes. Seriously, I'm trying. I was thinking, while you were talking about it, I was thinking, like, who's the one player I trust to make a simple pass? You definitely won't say Casemiro. You won't say maybe Maguire on a technical level, but even that's asking a lot. Yeah, that's uh, one of the few things I don't I don't actually worry about him on the ball. Uh, Maguire. Don't get me wrong, yeah. I don't think he's yeah. great, but he's not woeful. He's not like oh he's my god. He's not terrible. Yeah. yeah, I worry about yeah, him more defensively than I do him on the ball, which is bad for us. It's second. like you I see him do. on that island, you see him on the island, that's baby food. That's what people see. Yeah. So don't put him on an island. But our manager wants to play this six one three type nonsense. And next thing you know, Maguire's our last line of defense getting spun by every forward you can think of. Right? So let's go to midfield. I, I think Bruno's absolutely terrible. Wait, can we so just, I don't can, think that's can we just Hopefully this summer if Maguire goes, yeah. Just just I just want you to close your eyes for a second, people, and just imagine, yeah. <laughs> no positions where the opposition break and he's doing that stupid run and you know he's gonna get dusted. I've seen that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so many times no, in the last six years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's a wrap. Do you know what it is? Because you'll sit with your brethren who plays for the Terrible. opposition team, or you'll sit with your brethren who's watching it and be like, ah, oh, look at Maguire, he's gonna get spawned. Like people know what's gonna happen in it. So and the spin is so slow, it's so slow. He does that like it's look like... back, he's like, Was he just slow? He just can't shift. You know what I'm saying? He's like, he's like, you know what he's like? You know what he looks like? Rice looking for Goretzka in that Champions League quarter final. That's what he looks oh, like. He's still looking for him now. You know what I'm saying? He's still looking for him now. Hey, man. LA Fitness from Scott McTominay has just called him running past him. That's 100 billion pound. Yeah. And Goretzka. He's That's still so looking. Funny. He's still there, man. Some are saying he's going to miss the second leg. He's still chasing Goretzka now. We're like, yo, he's still out there. Like, <laughs> 100 million pound. Huh? So what you found what? No, it's our troops didn't ask me the question today, people. All that stick I, I get for criticizing Rice and criticizing the Arsenal team. You lot are good side, and that's it. Very good. That is it. You are not great. You are not elite. You are nothing special, and you are going to win nothing come the end of the season, like you did last season. 
That's just what it is. Like, they really talk about that dude like he's actually specialist. The craziest shit. It really is crazy to me. Like, it just, it's like steamed rice. That shit is normal. (laughs) That shit is normal. That shit is normal, bro. Maybe next to some good side side dishes, like it's some chicken, it's all right, but that shit's still normal. But they want to talk about like we talk about some some I don't know some chicken biryani or something like that. No, nah, man, we ain't nah, there yet. Pie, eat the pie, like, just the pocket yeah. rice. Yeah, that's yeah. steam rice, you know. Yeah, man, yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, 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 the yeah, pocket yeah. rice, man. He's pocket rice. That's what he is. He's just yeah, like, straight out. You know why it's funny as well? To the plate, bro. Yeah. You know why it's funny? Because if you go out for a meal, let's say you go for like Chinese or Indian or something, yeah, and then and then everyone's like pilau rice or vegetable fried rice or egg fried, whatever it is, yeah, like. Prawn fried rice or chicken fried rice, yeah, and then somebody just goes steam rice. You're just like, really, bro? Like, do you know what I mean? So that's like <laughs> Arsenal when they were buying ri- rice and they got gassed, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna pay like yeah. fifty pounds for some steam rice, and you're like, really, bro? Like, that's what? Oh, it steam don't rice? make no sense, that's man. What? Yeah, run down by Goretzka. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like not Ki- not Kimmich, not Musiala, not Harry Kane. Who did him? Goretzka running off his shoulder. Let that have been a Georgian. Why is it? Because it's Goretzka. <laughs> just to clarify to them, it's Goretzka. You know what I'm saying? McTominay with a gym membership. That's who he is. Right. Goretzka. Yeah. Off top. Like I said, Off man. Top. He's still looking. He's still out. He's still out on the Emirates pitch looking for him now. He's still trying to track him. And they you know said they wanted Madrid. Could you just imagine, bro? Oh, you know, Eddie, you know what's worse? Hashtag pray for Bayern was trending before the game. That's hilarious. <laughs> man, that's so funny. <laughs> What on their fan base? Oh my god, shameless! <laughs> shameless god, is awful. Fun. That's awful. Shameless that's, is fun. Yeah, the gym membership, McTominay. <laughs> pray for Bayern. Pray for Bayern. Hashtag pray for Bayern that's was awful. trending. And Goretzka <laughs> ran past, ran off your hundred million pound defensive midfielder. Yeah, bet. All right. You are going out. I can't wait, and we will be there, people. Yeah, we will be there. Play we back. will be there. Watching yeah, on gonna be play there. back, and then the Wednesday night it will be the United Arsenal show. Shout out TJ, shout out Tony. We will be yeah, there, and then following that, when they go out, we'll be doing the Yardman show on the Thursday because Lex and Kaneki have already asked for it. So yes, That's people, funny. we will um, be there. Eddie, what were you saying about midfield as well? Because you were saying like yeah. oh, about four, and then you went midfield. Yeah, because I'm just looking like I guess Mane would be the only one you could trust to make the simple passes. Uh, I'd say um, Erickson as well. I'd say Erickson. Erickson, but you know, free Erickson. He's not getting any play time. No. Um, then don't get me. St- I'm not even gonna try it with the forward line. <laughs> Ahmad, but he gets no time. <laughs> Fucking um, who else? Palestri, but he gets no time. Um, yeah, and that's where it stops. And it's just like you said, like the technical floor of this team is in is in fucking hell. Not even hell itself. Like maybe like the ninth circle. You know how there's Dante's Inferno? There's like nine levels of hell. We're like at the bottom of that joint. <laughs> <laughs> Out here holding hands with the devil. That's what they doing. It's my so, dying. Man, right. I, it's just it's just and, yep. and Ten Hog exaggerates that by the level by the way we play. Not even like if I was him, bro. Honestly, like I said before, because I saw it in preseason a little bit when he put in the academy players, they at least have a technical ability to pass the ball to either keep it moving, like their movement is dictated by the pass. So I so I thought there was the potential there, but then he just yeah, he just went to this whole tryhard FC thing, and it's been terrible ever since. So yeah, man, I, I, I have no hope for him. And on the Ineos thing, I just can't see it. I just can't see them buying into this long term because, like yeah, you said, can. if we were taking L's with the, with the kind of idea of what we'd look like going forward and it was something they can believe in, then Ineos might be tempted to. But as it currently stands, it's a shit show from A to Z. And there's nothing you can use to actually defend this manager. And there shouldn't be because we've seen Van Gaal get fired after winning an FA Cup. This guy is no Van Gaal. So I, I really want to hear like that's, well, that's Eddie, the reason to keep him either. Eddie, that's what he's desperately praying for. That's how shameless it really gets now. Do you know what I mean? Because he's going to turn around like fans. Yeah. Like, like yeah. flawless. We talk about this a lot, yeah? And it's like, yeah. I think you highlight this quite a lot. It's like, how can you see the ship going down? 
Mm. And then you see like the Titanic's going down and you're commenting on how good the chandelier is. No one cares, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you made like, that com- someone made that comment, I can't remember who it was, but someone made a comment like that. I was mad. dying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. it's Titanic thinking a man is saying, Yeah, look how nice the dining set is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's the mad. dining table's <laughs> lovely, yo. <laughs> it's lovely. Look at the napkins. Jeez, it's like guy. like my my standard for my club is not just trophies. That's why when I've asked Neji and Marcel and respect to them for coming on and having their view, every fan's entitled to their own view. I, I believe in that. And it's like, but I just can't see what they can see because at the end of the day, like when I'm asking for people's like ceiling and stuff, they're saying, oh, what maybe we'll be eighth. Or if he gets through this season, he's won two trophies in two years. But I'm like, but if we're running a business and everything's going wrong and like we're running a coffee shop, everything's going like wrong it's the, the roof's leaking we've not paid the bills it's, there's debt here there's this that do you know what i'm saying there's bailiffs knocking the door and you're like yeah, yeah, yeah. but the coffee tastes good bro like it ain't gonna be here for long do you know what i mean so it's like it's like i i at the standard of my club there has to be certain things in place for the standard for me it just has to be there in it do you know what i mean so i think um one question i wanted to ask you lot is what what are his um what are his wages because I'd be interested to see whether he's paid highly for a manager or whose wages. Ten Ten Hag. Hag. I'm yeah. not sure, but however, you know when I was only... talking about same resources for new manager, yeah. like, is he? Has he not, he has he not only got a year? Has he not only got his year left on his deal? Though? I wonder what. Manager How long was his deal? Was it three, four years? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it three years? Three years. So he's only, so he's only got a year left. Three so years. the payout shouldn't be too much. Hey, that's good riddance, man. That's that's a good write off. It's a good right off, man. Like, pay whatever yeah, he yeah. needs to be done. In an ideal world, I want him to win the FA Cup and then leave. That's what I'd like. So it says Whenever November happens, last year they would have had to pay 50 million to get him out. I wonder what his yearly wage is. All right, man, just sell a couple of players. That's that's the calm bit. That's calm. Easy compensation. Light work. Just, just have him think about it like child support. You got to get paid. So. <laughs> First, I hear you, fam. Trust me. About nine million. No, because my thing is, yeah, you know what's mad? You could give a manager half the money you're giving him, and you'll still get a better result. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. It's like, yo, money shouldn't be a thing. You just got, you just got to start it all again. That is it. Start it all again. Write it off. Start it all again with him. So, like I said, any else, like I've been saying, any else are on the clock. Yeah. Omar Barado, everybody else is on the clock. Ineos watch everything. We are all the questions I have, and I have many, like I've been stating, all get answered this summer in how mm. you lot move and who you hire, not even just that management everywhere else as well. Even how we move in the transfer window, even who we target in the transfer window. How do we go about targeting players? Is there a clear plan in regards to recruiting players? I will see. Yeah, yeah man, big old Omar Barada, man, he, he on the clock. Alongside everybody else, because I'm either come the start of the season a couple weeks before, I'm either going to be heavily invested in the season and heavily invested in what's going on at Manchester United, or I'm going to be disinterested and on the beach and want everybody go. I only know what I'm going to be getting. Yeah, I either think way. more than likely, I would love for it to be. I think the best way, because I spoke about this the other day, I'm random talk saying that mm-hmm. the best way they can do it is just complete calmness because that's logical decision making rather than emotional. So mm-hmm. it's like, if you turn around in the summer yeah. and you go, and even if you say something like, even if it's a white line, you go by mutual consent, Ten Hag's no longer in the club. We know it's not mutual consent, but like that, that's yeah. clever to be like, Thanks. do you know what I mean? Like to be like, he wasn't good enough. Cause really like, let's be real. Yeah. There, there's probably going to be a meeting. They're probably going to have the whiteboard there with like some big documents and say, right, all of these decisions and these results and these performances and probably these statistics uh, forget your forget your little pad of statistics, your little folder turn off. Forget that one. Where you're saying like we're fourth, we're the fourth best team when it comes to like conceding the least amount of goals. And that, no, 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 stop that. Do you know what I mean? And oh, my win percentage. No, 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 no. Put that away. What about this one here? I watched the Apprentice last night, yeah, and I watched the interviews. Yeah, that's what I want. They got. I need to watch. I've not, even, I've, I've not even watched none of the new season, man. I know. Bro, I need to catch. And then you go sit down with Claude, yeah. Yeah, I love like, that, but that's great. When you sit down with Claude and he's like, and he, he he suckers you in so bad with it and he's just there like, so is this, this is your business plan, right? And he's like, don't call it a business plan because it's not. See you later, mate. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's what we need the whole ten hog of like. Ruthless. Yeah. It's, it's time. Yeah, it's lucky. Time. Yeah, lucky. I can't even watch The Apprentice because the one who made that shit hit over here was Trump and he's a fucking idiot, so. 
Yeah, you. you can watch the UK version though. The UK version is good. Oh trust. yeah, let me tap uh, into that. Let me tap into the UK version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The UK version. I've just not watched any of the new season, but I am actually gonna gonna catch it without doubt. And to Eddie says, you guys see similarities between this season and the end of the Van Gaal era. Team don't rate him, moving deluded in interviews, questionable tactics. Hope it ends with Ten Hag sacked with the FA Cup too. I'm not gonna lie, Ed. I was so disengaged from the team at that point. I barely remember what it was like. You know, in hindsight, though, yeah. I'm glad we won the FA Cup. Because we passed it loads and we never, like, we weren't doing the whole exciting thing. Like, I think we should have given him more time, you know, because, like, he maybe could have done something, you know. Yeah. It was was just the football. football. Yeah, it was just the football. Like, the nil-nils were out of control. Um, Yeah. We just weren't scoring. But when you think about it, like, he actually... He actually coached our players and yeah, he, he gave them a good. baseline of how to perform when they get yeah. into the moment. But yeah, it was just the execution. And, you know, people was talking about fucking Jose and, and you know, it, it is what it is. It, 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 yeah, it was tough, but it kind of made sense. It was, it, it didn't mess. Like, again, we were so like, it wasn't too far moved from the Fergie era and the type of football we were seeing there to have that type of drastic change. Mm-hmm. The fan base just couldn't get with it. But yeah, you could tell he had a plan. It's just him. And I think he had Woodward at the time, right? Yeah, I think yeah, it was Woodward. Yeah, it would have been Woodward. So yeah. it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't really going to work. But yeah, man, it is what it is. Yeah, it does. What are you saying, Rhino, before we close out in regards to? To, to Ineos, there's no way. Yeah. Do you see any way they keep Ten Hag? Because me personally, I just like no, you lot can't keep him. No way in hell. Uh, you listen, I him. swear, I'm not hearing none of that, bro. Like <laughs> if they're on this, if they're keeping Ten Hag, bro, like listen, I know they say support the club and all of that, but it's gonna be Buki, man. If they're trying to keep mm-hmm. Ten Hag, I'm just gonna revert back to the whole Glazer situation. I know we've kind of moved past that now, and everyone's kind of put the Glazers in the background and just focused on what Ineos are doing because Ineos are handling the football operations but you can't have people of the pedigree of Omar Barada I know City fans get triggered when we, when we say things like that oh you've got our leftovers and oh yeah he was a CEO mm-hmm. like they're so high and mighty like he wasn't our CEO but listen at the end of the day he's somebody that did bring value to your club you know when he was there and He's somebody that can definitely vastly improve United because we've had bankers running our, our club for all these years. So performance-wise, you got people like Brosford. I know he came from the cycling sport, but he still knows how to read numbers and stats and understand yeah. things and translate it from sport to sport. There's there's certain things that correlate the same across all sports. Yeah, so things you know, that like similar. rankings, yeah. performances, and all of that stuff. So he's going to see a lot of deficiencies and. He can't now look at Ten Hag and have any sort of faith. You know, mm. I don't know what kind of facial expressions he has when he's happy. You get me? Because he's always straight face at the game. Straight face. I think I've seen one, two little smiles from him when mm. he's walking, like when they're chatting and whatever. But he seems like a serious guy. And if he cares about numbers and performances, all these records that Ten Hag has broken is, is, is actually so, so bad. And as United fans, we're embarrassed, you know? And I know a lot of rival fans say, oh, why do you guys feel entitled? We don't feel entitled. We just know how much money our club makes. We know where our club has come from and we shouldn't be in this position. We make Mm -hmm. too much money and we've had so, so, so much quality over the years that, yeah, things change, things come and go, but we've just been mishandled. We've just been handled very badly. So they can't look at Ten Hag, man. Ten Hag has killed a lot of our hopes and he's destroyed a lot of our history already he's he's done a lot of damage because we were very damaged before and yes he did fix a bit of the mentality he did handle things well in the first season but second season the damage is too much you know when they say that things have to kind of get worse to get better i think this has gone way beyond that yeah man it's a wrap sure it is and to to ryan who says yeah go on carry on carry on man i'm sorry don't you pretend how Nah, man. He Ryan, says, don't you know you think it Ten Hag is? deserves another yeah. chance under new infrastructure? No, the reason why I say no to no. this question, Ryan, is because his issues are nothing to do with the infrastructure. Yeah. My yeah. biggest, yeah. actually, let me clarify that. My biggest issues and biggest complaints with Ten Hag this season are nothing to do with the infrastructure yeah. and off yeah. the field stuff. Yeah. It's nothing to do with that. 
That's why Facts. last season I would hear that. We felt sure Facts. he could have done no more last season. And the infrastructure didn't help him in regards to recruiting for the squad. But this season, no. It's not the infrastructure's yeah. fault. But yeah, go on. Go on, Ryan. Yeah, even just to carry that on, like, Ryan, like, at the end of the day, Ten Hag has got a lot of things where the infrastructure doesn't matter and he's got it wrong. Like, you know, when it comes to the man manager, when it comes to presenting yourself and re representing our club, he's, he's just not ready for it. So, yeah, man, performance-wise, performance like I said to bro, bro, like I said about Brosford, he can't have any faith in Ten Hag. When it comes to um, someone like Ineos in terms of the direction they want to move forward, obviously Brosford, Brosford's with Ineos as well, right? It's just yeah, um, Brailsford, Ratcliffe yeah, and Brosford are the, the names on top of it. Or, yeah, yeah. Let me actually have a look in regards to Brosford world. Let me actually have a look. Yeah. Brailsford. It's but, like Ratcliffe. Yeah, man. So, uh, Brailsford yeah, is like in a position right underneath, um, right like under his right hand right man or something. Brailsford. Yeah, yeah, and then okay. you know, I think it goes like Radcliffe, Brailsford, then uh, Omar Barada, or they're yeah, because yeah, they're saying he's, he's he's a director of the, yeah, he's the director. Sorry to cut you off, Eddie. He's the director of sport at Ineos. So okay, what, yeah, 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 that's what they said. Yeah, yeah, he's the director of sport. Let yeah, me have a look so here. Because he said these man can't be having any faith in this. This, this is according to the mirror. Yeah, Brailsford Road mm. will will conduct as an audit. Wait one second. For Manchester United and a bid to turn the struggling team into a winning winning machine, so he's involved. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's involved. But yeah, yeah, man, mm -hmm. these man like if they care about the numbers and the statistics and all of that stuff. And yeah, I know like we can always say that things need to get worse to get better. We can say that, but there's clearly things in Tenag's control that has caused this damage, you know. And there's clearly a big sample size that we can clearly see that he can't handle this job. It's too much. It's just way too much for him. So, yeah, man, numbers-wise, he's poor. Performance-wise, in terms of what we're seeing, like seeing an identity, seeing a the style, there's nothing there. So what can you possibly take from him that you can have faith on for next season? And you can say, you know what? You know, if you just tweet this and tweet that, he'll be better. So there's nothing there, man. There's nothing there. So. And that's pretty much it, people. That's so we will... We will be here, unfortunately, for the bomb. If Manchester United watch along, it is on the YouTube channel. But we got a stack day still coming up, people. But please run up the likes. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. Um, I can't lie, I just asked that question due to wind up purposes. Well, you did a terrible job. You know what I'm saying? Wait, it's Ryan, nice Ryan, now you're back. Question. What was the line that you would use if you didn't use 16 out of 10, bro? Come on, before we close out, help us out, man. If you, didn't, <laughs> yeah, you go. If you could yeah. pull back time, do you know what I mean? If you could turn back the hands of time, no Gareth Gates, yeah, then right. let us know. Yeah. What you would uh... and Ryan see that that's how Ryan see see when I say Ryan says dumb shit it was actually a decent question I actually weren't like bothered by it because other people Brandon, have actually Brandon. mentioned it like United fans like this it see even even Eddie's like yeah yeah, yeah I'm done but then again this is the same guy who said he wants to be Harry Kane's only trophy so we move but anyways run up the likes make sure you hit the share button across all socials make sure you subscribe hey, to the bro, channel bro. Sarcasm CTV hit <laughs> the notification just, bell yeah. as well <laughs> what I just hear yeah. Harry Kane's only trophy what the never yeah. mind just yeah that's me. what he said yeah yeah that's why I just skipped past it I said this is the this. same this is the same, this. This is the same guy who said that this is the same guy who got this is the same guy who got booed on stream when he entered the uh, uh, Hero 2020 watch along like the list goes on how is it taken out of context? You saying you want to be Harry Kane's only trophy? Explain that one, Ryan. Explain that's, that one. Hey, here we go. But that, but, 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 again, it's the same idiot who said this. Anyway. That's story. Anyway, anyway, but here I we just are. Say, the two girls below us are looking sixteen out of tens today. Both of them. Right, okay. I big up the panel. He's I told as for. it's too funny, bro. It's just hilarious. He loves to end as well. It's mad. He got one girl that's being polite, like. Yeah, yeah. And the other one's yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're finished, man. You're you finished. did it, man. You're, you're <laughs> finished. Did it. Hey, Ryan, Bench, I'll see you. Change your name, bro. You know what I mean? No, Come you can't change his name, man. There's nothing he can do, man. He can't rebrand like a wrestler, man. It's over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he can't rebrand, man. He can't rebrand. Over, it's over. Bro.
I, like when he tried to say, he said earlier, he was like, oh, I'm just, wait, one sec. Let me get to this. Wait, wait, wait. This oh. is perfect. Word to, Ryan, word to what Rhino says, he's dinnered. Yeah, man, he's what dinnered. That's All you got to do, Ryan, you got to you gotta put another highlight out there that'll make him forget about this one. So <laughs> yeah, the next <laughs> time you on stream with two baddies, bring out the best material. Yeah. Then we'll see. Tell, tell them, we'll tell see, them too, you want to be that only... Tell them to yeah, you, you want to be that only trophy. That's what you can do. To them. You can tell them. <laughs> we, we are here to help you, brother. Shout out to Flawless, you know. Shout out to Flawless. I'm, I'm, I'm here. No, 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 Eddie. You out here to help. I'm out here to make this worse for Ryan. That's what I'm here for. I'm. That's my sole purpose <laughs> is to make this as terrible as possible. I am here to make this worse. Are we talking about pouring salt in the wound? I am the yo. I am the salt distributor. I am handing that shit out. Pouring it into the wound, one hundred. I'm letting this be known worldwide. What are we talking about here? See, look, I'm even getting Instagram messages talking about it. People laughing about it, talking about loving it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. Is to make this worse. Like I said, Ryan, you will see this every day of your life. You know what I'm saying? Every day of your life, you will hear sixteen out of ten. Wait, you go to there. sleep, you will see it. What are we that talking about comment. here? Oh my god! What's the last comment? I wanted to get to this I, one as well. I Hold it. it. Let me see. Well, let it slide. Yeah, facts. He got to turn up with a body. That's what he's got to do. He says she likes that. That's the only way to. Do it. Nah, that ain't even saving it. But yeah, he says, I'm just going to be a twat to everyone on YouTube now. So, what have you been doing the last three years? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yo, that you can't do this to that yourself, man. Yeah. I'm do this, man. This is little bro. We have, yo, we have a collective wet. agreement on that Ed comment there. Is that true? Wait, agree which one? We'll let it slide. When Ryan back Sophie Rose, we'll let it slide. Nah. <laughs> Whoever, whatever girl co-signs this, she getting roped into it too. She's getting slandered too. Whoever it is, you will never escape this. Ever. I am playing this every day I am on this earth. And I'm going to the afterlife. And I'm going to play this shit. This is going nowhere, Ryan. The merch is coming. He has a wedding and it's like flawless speech. He'll I was going to say that. microphone yeah. to his phone. Facts, I'm playing the play video, a play a hundred percent on the big screen. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said, just to let you know, babe, I'd never use this line on you. Yeah, I'm man, it's going to drop down. I'll be like, what, it's in the A and it's going to drop down? hundred percent. No, I'm going to say drop, drop down. Like, <laughs> you know, the screen going to drop yeah, down. Loaded Lux and Calico flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, looks and Calico, look, exhibit A. You know what I'm saying? And just point to it and just... What are you saying? Ryan gives you a video call at the wedding and then he's like, yeah. just want to say... 100%, I'm playing this everywhere, yo. The bride's mom's looking 16 out. Yeah, yeah it's lock up. Yeah, screen's breaking right. up. Yeah, 100%. I'll turn up. My tie will have 16 out of 10 all on it, just in no. small. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I will be. I'll play this shit to his kids. His kids' kids. This is going from generation from generation Man of Kawajas to, to Kawajas. Man said he's playing he'll, it to his kids. The Kawajas is going from generation to generation to generation. This is going to get passed down like an heirloom. What are we talking about here? <laughs> He will never have lived this down. Ever. I'm going to pass it down to my generations from below. Whoever I leave Sarcasm City TV to in my will, I'll be like, play this every day. That's the only rule. You play this clip every day on every street. This is going nowhere. And 16, oh, and the 16th of October will forever be known as Ray Day. And the merch is going to keep rolling. Welcome to the technology era, people. Where you can oh, get yeah. your and it's there for life. And you know what the crazy people. thing is, Ryan? You know what? You know how you know it's never going to stop? Because as the channel gets bigger, there's going to be new people who haven't I'm seen gone. it. No. Bear in mind, it was three years old and it was like 1K, 2K subscribers. The reason why this blew up is because there was like 90% of the channel hadn't seen it. And that's what it is. So imagine we are 11, we are approaching 11K. Imagine when we hit 20K, 30K, 40K, 50K, 100K. I need to know like the orange... The origin story of this clip like was it was like how did it get <laughs> brought back shit. up oh That's right i'll tell you the origin story with. i'll tell you that this is how it was so we was doing the 10k subscriber party and people were asking in the chat nah. talking about sarcasm city tv best moments and then somebody was bringing up different clips and somebody brought up that clip obviously we laughed but what i forgot okay. was i haven't seen it because i remember it because it's been on out of context for years like i say the clip like three years yeah, old yeah yeah the clip like three years old so it's like that's the origin story. No stress, Rhino, man. You lot, make sure you subscribe to MGTV as well, man. Subscribe to Rhino's channel. Links underneath in the description. Make sure you do so. So, yeah, that's the origin story. That's how the clip came back about. And Ryan can hold okay. that. Running in the chat, you got nothing to say. 
and it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. This guy talking about, oh, I'm, I'm going to be a twat to everyone. What have you been doing for the past three years? This is why everyone's rejoicing in it. Why I am anyway. I love it. I love it. It's great. <laughs> I'm so great, yo. <laughs> it's talking. It's so... <laughs> You did it on the wrong channel, bro. Somebody would have clipped this and moved on, but you did it to the wrong guy, unfortunately. Yeah. It's his fault. You know what I'm saying? And, that. and then it was his fault, and it's Ryan's stupid fault that Troops played it. Because Troops was the one who blew it up, blew it up. Hey. I made it a hot line. Troops made it a hot song. That's what it was. It was the... Hey, a good and retired. I think he's on the Liverpool show. I yeah, he is. You know, because you know what it was? Alan mentioned the point. It was Drake on Versace with Migos. That's what they was. That's what Troops did to it. <laughs> Troops did it. That's what he Alarm said it and he's smart on. Because he's been here when Troops was the first one to play. He was like, yo, what clip? And then boom. You see it on the terrace. Staffy TV. This is football. They mentioned it on the big six. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's gone everywhere. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. You start, my guy. You, you a star, star, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying a star for all the wrong reasons, but yeah, yeah, you're a star, man. Here it is. Flawless, you're funny. I can't lie. Big up to you, United FC. I try, man. I try. But anyways, we are going to close out, people. Love to everyone that um, that has locked in. I hope you lot have enjoyed it. That is the funniest bit of the clip to me is Jan's face. I'm not going to lie. Yes, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to Jan because she was just not having it whatsoever. But yeah. Um, love to everyone that's locked in. I just seen Ryan's comment again. Oh, it's beautiful. But anything you might want to add for, we close out. No, just people. The season's done. I said the season was done in Feb. To be yeah, the season's it's been over. We've been on the beach. We got two big games left: the Coventry in the semi-final and Arsenal in the Premier League. Yeah, that's the only yeah, bit of enjoyment Coventry. But that's pretty shameless to enjoy. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, just, because more so because it's a semi because it's a semi-final. Like if we get to a final, at least it gives us certain to look forward to. It's I don't Chelsea. think I'll. I don't think I'll even be gassed if we win the final. To be honest with you, no, nah, I'd be, I'd be happy that we get a trophy. It's good to get FA Cup, but I won't you know be. Like... Yeah. You know, I'd be gassed to just rub it in the faces of opposition. Because imagine what? if we win, if we win the FA Cup outside of City, you can say we had a bad season in Arsenal and Liverpool. Mm -hmm. If they win nothing, yeah, well, I Liverpool know. have only won. Liverpool are out of the Europa League, and yeah, but that's and what I'm saying. First, I don't Cup. judge it on just the trophy, man. I got to look at the whole thing. As well. nah, the whole team, but, but I know I what you mean, like accolades. accolades. Just for like, hey, you know, what? do it for like 15 minutes, Leon. Then what? the reality yeah. kick back. Yeah, the reality kicks in, but we still oh, yeah, had yeah. a bad season in them. I'd still say that. Like you know, we're nothing. Ah, That's what I still say. You lot won nothing. Our, our worst manager, and you lot got all these girls. Yeah, that, best that, defense that, in yeah. the league, and you know what I'm saying. You got Liverpool do it for Klopp, and we won more trophies than you. Nothing Just to saying. show. That'd be crazy. That'd yeah, be man, crazy. it'd be great. Hey, hashtag do it for Klopp. And that being said, speaking Liverpool of Manchester Klopp. United, Liverpool, 10:30 p.m. Make sure you're back here on the channel Liverpool for Klopp. the Man United podcast analysis and field podcast. Mr. 16 out of 10 will be there. The rest of the Liverpool gang gang will be there. And I will be there as well. We'll be discussing Liverpool's 3-0 loss at home in the Europa League quarterfinal first leg to Atalanta. So, yeah, make sure you are there, people. Subscribe to Leon's channel. Subscribe to Rhino's channel. Subscribe to all of the man them as well. Big up to my guy, Eli. It's flawless. My brother with a 16 out of 10 ideas. I try, man. Do says generational 16 out of 10. This is what I'm saying. Crazy. Warrior J, who will be there? Six Mr. 16 out of 10 said he's pulling up. Lex will be there. Rom said so. G said he'll be there as well. They're the only ones confirmed. Oh, yeah. And N said he'll sure be there as well. Put, Five. Make sure y'all put umbrellas in the chat for the tears that will flow. <laughs> yeah. Put umbrellas in that chat, bro. Put umbrellas in that chat. Make sure y'all stay warm, stay toasty. Because the tears will be a flowing. You know, yeah, the what was Klopp yeah. thinking? We'll be yeah. there. Um, yes. What else? What was Nunes doing? We'll be there. All of that. All of that. Yeah, so, hey, basket it. Do, the, do, do like yes. start doing the uh, the Omarion and you got served. Start dancing in the rain one time. <laughs> it's not that That's what you need to do. Fast. In the spins and shit in the rain. Yeah, or Usher. No, that movie Usher was called Usher. Usher. No. And Usher and, you know, Usher yes. got some things going on we ain't going to speak on. But uh, yeah, yeah man, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go uh, just to keep it with traditions. One nil United. We're gonna we're gonna be. Oh yeah, for predictions. This is how much we don't care. I, I got two yeah. on Manchester United. What are you saying, Leon? What's their form looking like? Bournemouth have not been in good form. They have not been in good form. But it is United. It is United. Yeah, 
They haven't been in good form. But yeah, don't get me mistaken. We can definitely lose this game. Without doubt. We are more than capable of losing this I'll match. go 2-1 United. There we go. And to, to, to Ryan who says, wait, you honestly think Flawless well, say, you think I need an invite? I'm crashing that bitch. What do you mean? I'm just going to crash it and just pull up. You know what I'm saying? What are we talking about here? I'm playing That's the hilarious. clip and the family member goes, how do you know Ryan? <laughs> I'm, just <crashing. laughs> I'm just walking. walking. Well, honest, they're like, so how do you know, how do you know Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you've seen this clip. This guy, I'll be there in my 16 out of 10 suit. You know what I'm saying? And that, you know, like uh, Conor McGregor had fuck you on the pinstripe on the suits. I'm gonna have 16 out of 10 on the suit. That's what it is. This guy, That's like, I need to invite. I'm gonna just pull up. But, anyways, we're closing out. Don't forget, we are available on all audio platforms. Is Steve still live? Let me know, Warrior J. If he's not, I'll, re I'll redirect to Rants. But if Steve's still live, which I believe he is, I will redirect over to Steve. I know he's doing a Bundesliga game, but yeah, actually, yeah, he's still alive, so we'll redirect to him. But hey, Aguna Matar, fire name, like I said, fire username says love the banner. That's what we're here for. Real one. Light of tick. Just flawless. That kid is looking 16 out of 10. You already know. You already know. Hey, gaming for life, big up to you. I love to everyone that has locked in. And this has been the Man of Night podcast live on the Sarcasm City TV YouTube. Thank you very much for tuning in. And have a 16 out of 10 day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's start anyway, but here can we I just are. Say, the two girls below us are looking 16 are out you of playing 10 today, it? both of them. <laughs> <I'll tell. laughs> Look at his dumb face. Look at the dumb smile. Right, Speak of the panel, I told, as fuck.